lesson. Now in next lesson, brothers and sisters, we have four letter verbs. What is it? Huh? Four letter verbs. Fel rubai. So far we have done fel solashi. Now it is fel rubai. Huh? It's very easy, very interesting. Huh? In fel solashi, how many barbs we had? Six barbs. Fel solashi, how many barbs? Six barbs. What are they? Bab nasara, bab daraba, bab fataha. Bab Karuma, Bab Samia, Bab Hasiba. How many Babs in Fel Rubai? <laughs> you do not have to worry. There's, there are no Babs, there's only one thing Madi and Mudarya. Huh? Okay? But it has the Mazid forms, just like Fel Sulasi. Huh? It has the Mazid forms. Huh? It's very interesting and, and it comes in the Quran all the time. So, inshallah, we will do it. Brothers and sisters, and let us today do the basic form, okay, which is the root word in fel falasi is fa'ala. And what is the root of fel rubai? Fa'alala. What is it? Fa'alala. Huh? And since there are four letters, brothers and sisters, what will happen to uh, Alamatu Mudarya, Harfu Mudarya? Because it is four letters. Huh? You, Fa, Lilu. What will happen, brother? You, Fa, Lilu. You, Fa, Lilu. And the most common of four letter verb is Tara Jama. What is it? Tara Jama. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. Tara. Jama. How will you make it mudarya? You. Tara. Jima. Use all the knowledge that you have, brothers and sisters. Make Amar from Tar Jama. How many chops? Tarjim. Are you with me? Now, master, also very easy. Very easy. Eh? Those who speak Urdu know it. Tar. That's it. You say Tarjama. Tarjamatun. Fine. Make a some file. Mutarjimun. Mu Tarjimun. Are you with me? The one who translates. Make it some maful. Mutarjamu. See? Can there be anything easier than this? It's very easy. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Let's go to the verbs in the dars. Inshallah. And then you will do a lot of uh, conjugation, huh? Do the conjugation, brother. Things will become easy for you. We start with number two, brothers and sisters. Alfialu, Emma Solasiyun, wa Emma Rubaiyun. Everybody there? Page number? 223. Page number? 223. Alfialu, Emma Solasiyun, wa Emma how will you translate? The verb, either it is three letter or it is four letter. For sulasiyu, ma fihi, what is this ma allazi? For sulasiyu, here ma is ma mausula, which has the meaning of allazi. Fihi salasatu ohrafin asli. In fail sulasi, there are Three original letters. Nah, kataba, salama, in kasara. Wakad darastahu. You have already studied it, brothers and sisters. Amma rubayu, 
فما كان فيه أربعة أحرف أصلي there are four root verbs the original verbs وهو إما مجرد وإما مزيد it can be a pure four letters or it can have a mazid form also قال مجرد له باب واحد it has got only one form no other form وزنه its pattern or weight or form is فَعَلَلَا نَحْوَ تَرْجَمَ What is the meaning of تَرْجَمَ? He translated. بَأَثَرَ He scattered or it scattered. حَرْوَلَ He walked very fast. دَحَرَجَ He rolled over, brothers and sisters. Farqa'a, to crack, uh, to split, to explode. Huh? And then, brother and sister, zalzala, huh? to shake, uh, wild, you know, to shake violently, huh? fiercely. Okay? And waswasa, see? Waswasa, to whisper, to speak under one's breath. Kah, huh? kah, no. to, to laugh very loudly. Huh? To laugh very loudly. These words, brother, you are familiar with? Some, some of them? You was visu. What is you was visu? Mudarya. Huh? Okay, inshallah. Wal mazidu lahu salasatu abwa bin. Wahiya. Brothers and sisters, just add ta to fa'alala. What happens? Ta fa'alala. Nahu. No, so, some of these pronunciations are hard, huh, brothers and sisters. Ta ra ra. What is the meaning of ta ra ra? Nasha'a. To grow up. Okay? To develop. To flourish. To thrive. Ta mad mada. Tamad mada to rinse, to rinse, brothers and sisters. Tadah raja to roll, to roll again, brother. What is the next one, brother? How many things are added in the next one? Hamzai is added in the beginning, and the lam at the end is doubled. Huh? I hope you will. Make some conjugation at home huh? when you'll write it and you'll think it over. Where are the additional things coming? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. Maybe I should give you a little hint, brother. What is the original, brother? This is the original, this is the original, huh? and this is the original, and this is the original, which is? Got the idea, brother and sister? This is the original. What is being added? Brother, you added this, and you added this. Huh? So it became if a lal la. I will write down now. If a lalla. If you think, what are you adding into it? Huh? Inshallah. Okay. Now, brothers and sisters, itma'anna, of course you know that word. Itma'anna. To be reassured. Huh? Ishma'azza. What is the meaning of ishma'azza? To be disgusted. Huh? Huh? Feel disgusted or you detest something. Okay? Iksha arra. Very nice word, brother and sister. It comes in the Quran. Huh? To tremble. To tremble. Iksha huh? arra. 
to shake, huh? to shake and to tremble, brothers and sisters. Now comes if and Lala. Now in this, you can clearly see that Hamza is added and Noon is added. Huh? If and Lala. This Bab, you don't see verbs very often, but sometimes you will see it. Huh? Not very often. Okay. Iran Jama. If Iran Ka. These words are not used frequently. Huh? Rest of it, brothers and sisters, we'll do uh, next time when we meet. I will request you to do the conjugation so that you are familiar with it, huh? inshallah. Especially itma'anna, do it. Madi mudariya amar. Do it, brothers and sisters. And the rest of it. Four letter verbs, you should do all of it. Huh? And also think of majul forms, especially four letter. Do the majhul, inshallah. You'll become strong, brother. Rabbana, atina fi dunya asanatan wa fil akhirati asanatan wa kina azab al nar. Rabbana, hablana min azwajina wa zuriyatina kurrata ayunin. Waja'alna lil muttaqina imama. Rabbana, taqabbal minna inna ka anta samiyul alim. Wa tubu alayna inna ka anta tawabu rahim. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifuna. وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Nice to see you brothers and sisters. We'll start our lesson again one more time. We'll revise it a little bit. Lesson 26. الدرس الثالث هو الشروم. We'll go to as usual to the verbs first. Page 222, brothers and sisters. Section two, al fi'lu imma sulatiyum wa imma rubaiyum. What is the meaning of this, brother? The verb, either it is three letters or it is four letters. Fal sulatiyum and the sulatiyum ma fihi salasatu ahrufin asli. What is the meaning of this, brothers and sisters? Ma here is Allazi. Remember, it is not Ma Nafi. Huh? The three letter verb is the one in which there are three original letters huh? Fa Kalima, Ain Kalima, and Lam Kalima only. Huh? First radical, second radical, and third radical. Huh? Nah. For example, Kataba. Sallama, inkasara, wakad, darastahu. And you have already studied it. Amma rubayu, fama kana fihi, arbatu ahrufin asli. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? As far as the four letter verbs are concerned, there are in it. Four original letters. Bahuwa imma mujarrad. And it is either pure, naked, you can say, without any addition, wa imma mazid, or something gets added to it, brother and sister. Fal mujarradu, and for the mujarrad, lahu babun wahidun. It has got only one bab. Unlike the Fial Fulasi Mujarat, which has got six babs, this has got only one bab. Vaznuhu, and the pattern of it is, brothers and sisters, Fa'alala. So it is four letters. Fa'alala. And when it is a four letter verb, we know the Alamatu Mudarya is you. Are you with me, brother? So what will be the Mudari of Fa'alala? You Fa'lilu. You Fa'lilu. You Fa'lilu. You Fa'lilu. Now, Tarajama, what will be the Mudari? You Tarajimu. Basara, 
you buy, sell. Harwala, you harwil. Dahraja, you dahrij. Farqa'a, you farqiw. Zalzala, you zalzil. Waswasa, you waswisu. Kahkaha, you kahkiw. Kahkaha, you kahkiw. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. And the fiel rubai madid, uh, it has got three babs. Lahu salasatu abwabin. Wahia, and they are in the first, brothers and sisters, tafa. Ta is added, tafa lala. Khalas. It's very simple. Huh? Here we are, brothers and sisters. I'll write quickly here. Now when it comes to the Bab of the Mazid, brothers and sisters, Get the idea? Tafa Lala. Huh? Then there's another one, brothers and sisters. What is it, brother and sister? If alalla, if alalla, and for this, the best verb to remember, the most beautiful verb, huh, brother and sister. What is it, brother and sisters? You, everybody likes this. It ma'anna, it minan, mutmain. It ma'anna. What is the root of it? Huh? What is the root, Padam Sir? Tamana. Huh? Four letter. What was added? Aleph was added. And one noon was added. Huh? In this. Are you with me? Got the idea? Now this, brothers and sisters, if we don't revise it, we will forget. Huh? And also, writing is important. Huh? If you get time, do a couple of conjugations. This will make your understanding strong in China. Huh? And what is the last one, brothers and sisters? Three verbs. Huh? The last one, the use of it is very Little. Huh? It is not used very frequently. But you will find it in the literature, brothers and sisters. And what is that? In the beginning, Hamza will come. And then Fa. And then Ain. And then Noon will come.
and then twice loud. Got the idea, brother and sister? But the usage of this is not very frequent. Huh? It is used rarely. So the most important for us is to remember this and this form, huh? inshallah. So the first one is, brother and sister, al felul rubayu al-mazidu. Bob number one, Tafa Lala. What is the example here? Tara Ra. Tamad Mada. Okay? Tadah Raja. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Next one, if Alalla. What is the next one? If Alalla. And we have here the example, It Ma'anna. Comes in the Quran. Ish ma'azza comes in the Quran. Iksha arra comes in the Quran. They got beautiful meanings, brothers and sisters. If an lala. What are the examples? Ihran jama. Okay, we go to the first bab, brothers and sisters. Tara ara. Do you know the meaning of tara ara? To grow. To grow up. And what is the meaning of tamadamada? To gargle with water. Tadah huh? raja, the meaning is, brothers and sisters, to roll. Huh? Now we come to itma'anna, to be reassured. To be reassured. Huh? To feel peaceful and tranquil. Ishma Azza, to feel disgusted. What is the meaning of Ishma Azza? To feel disgusted. You, you don't like something, you detest. Okay? And ik Sha'arra is to tremble, uh, to shiver, to tremble. Third one, brothers and sisters, if an lala, if an lala, ehran jama. What is the meaning of ehran jama? Please write it. Tajamma. What is the meaning of ehran jama? It gathered. Huh? It gathered. Huh? Something, some people or something gathered. Ehranjama. Huh? And then, what is the next one, brother? If ran What is the meaning of if ran to disperse. Huh? Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Okay. Now when we study that dars, you will be watching for Madi, Mudarya, Amar, Master. Okay. And if there is a some file, we'll be looking for it. Number three, brothers and sisters. Ta'ammalil amthilata thum akmalil nakis. Ta'ammalil amthilata thum akmalin nakis. Al-Mahdi mudariya mastar. Tarajama yutarjimu and what is the master? Tarjamatun. See, in Urdu, you always hear this tarjama. 
So you are not saying tamarbuta, you are only saying ha, tarjama. But it is actually tarjamatun, tarjamatun. But then sisters, what will be the ism file? Mutarjimu. What is it? Mutarjimu. We know it. We are strong, alhamdulillah. Translator. What will be the thing translated? Mutar jama. Just changing the ain kalima. Mutar jama. Okay. Mutar jama. In this case, it is not the ain kalima because it is fa'alala. So it is the, there are four radicals. You are changing the third radical here. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. You'll, you'll keep this in mind. It's not difficult. In fact, it's very simple. The only thing required is that you got to do it few times. You conjugate few times and you'll be strong, inshallah. Ba'asara, to scatter. You ba'asiru. And then ba'asara to. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ba'asara. He scattered. Make it majhul. Ba'asiru. What is it? What will be the majhul, brothers and sisters? What is the majhul of ba'asara? Remember this verse? Afala ya'lamu iza bu'sira ma fil kubur. Iza bu'sira ma fil kubur. Brothers and sisters, So, brothers and sisters, what is Bo Sera? Felun Madin, Lil Majhul. Are you with me? When it is Majhul, what do you look at it? Naive file. Where is the naive file? Ma. Ma is your naive file. Got the idea? This is Ma al Mausula, is your naive file. And Fil Kubur, Char Majru, Silatul Mausul. Are you with me? Silatul Mausul. Very good. Keep that in mind because we are going to get these uh, uh, verbs which are very familiar to us, but we never knew what they are. Huh? Now, inshallah, we are learning. Okay, but Haruwala, to jog or to walk very fast, you Haruwalu, and then Haruwala Tun. Zalzala, you Zalzilu. Zalzalatun. Brothers and sisters, Zalzalatun is the master. Is, and what is the pattern of Zalzalatun? Fa'alalatun. What is it? Fa'alalatun. There is another pattern of master. Fi'alalun. Fi'alalun. Huh? Do you know the ayah? Iza zulzila. Zulzila til ardu zilzalaha. Huh? Are you with me? Iza zulzila til ardu zilzalaha. So what is the zilzala? Master. So write down here also zilzalun. What is the pattern? Huh? Fi alalun. Huh? Fi alalun. But the first pattern of master. Fa'alalatun is very common, uh, very common. And sometimes you will see master on the pattern of fia lalun also. So brothers and sisters, if I write down the ayah, is a
Can you analyze? Of course, is I say, it's mushart, gehru jazmin. When we study the surah, brothers and sisters, we can find out the jawabu shart. Huh? Right now, is a, is a, is mushart, gehru jazmin. Okay, fine. What is zul zala? Fialun ma'adin lil majhul. Mabniyun ala fatah. What is this ta doing here? Ta'utanisi. What does it signify? That the knife file, because this is majhul, so it has to be knife file. Knife file has to be a monas. So where is the knife file? Al ardu. Is al ardu monas? Yes, it is monas. A sama'u monas and al ardu monas. A shamsu monas. So these are all monas. We know it. Huh? So al ardu is is marfu. Why it is marfu? Because it is knife file. And what is this? Zilzala. Zilzala. Mafulun mutlak. What is it? Mafulun mutlak. Are you with me? For emphasis. Bahuwa huh? mudaf and ha. Mudaf ilahi. Ha again goes back to Ard. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? In next uh, two lessons, we are coming across Mafurun Mutlaq. It is arriving. It is just waiting in the next room to come here. So we will study it, you know, inshallah. Yes, sister. Zilzalah. Ha goes to Ard. G. Mudafili. Mudafili. When you say Subhanallah, Subhana is mafulun mutlak. Mansub. Huh? And what is Allahi? Mudafili. Subhanaka. What is ka? Huh? Mudafili. Huh? Inshallah. We come now to the Tara Ra. To grow up. Ya Tara Ra U. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now look at the master. Do you find any similarity between this and the form 5? Tabassum? Huh? Again the same thing. Before the last kalima, it got a dhamma. Huh? Tara ru'un. Tara ru'un. Huh? That is the form of master, brothers and sisters. Tamadmada ya tamadmadu and then Tamad Mudun. Tamad Mudun. No, unless you write it down, you will forget, brothers and sisters. So you got to write it down. No? The next one, brothers and sisters. Itma'anna. What is it? Itma'anna. What is the mudarya? Yatma'innu. Yatma'innu. And what will be the master? It me nanun. It me nanun. Very good, brothers and sisters. Ishma azza. Now, whenever you see uh, shadda at the end, then we got to break it down when we are doing our master. Huh? Ishma azza. Mudariya, brothers and sisters. Yashma izzu. And then Ishmi zazun. Ishmi Zazun. Fine, brothers and sisters. Ik Sha'arra. Ya Sha'irru. Ik Shi'rarun. Fine, brothers and sisters. Ihranjama. Ya Ranjimu. Ihrin Jamu. Ihrin Jamu. Ifranka'a. Ya Faran. Kiu, yafaran, kiu, ifarin, kau. What will be the master, brothers and sisters? Ifarin, kau. So, inshallah, you will remember this. Huh? Now we go to the main lesson, and inshallah, you will try to remember. Here, I want to explain you a new concept. Brothers and sisters, <clears throat> it is so beautifully explained by Dr. Sam. 
page number 117 in the key, brothers and sisters. I will read it quickly. Huh? And later on, we will study it in Arabic. Huh? Here is an example, very sweet example. Hada rajulun. What is the meaning, brother and sister? This is a man. Huh? Book one, lesson number one. Hada rajulun. This is a man. Hada baitun. Hada masjidun. So hada rajulun. Okay. Hada muftada. Is hada marfu? Yes, it is marfu. It is huh? fine. Is Hadha definite? Yes, yes it is definite. Huh? Because Muftada has to be Marfu. And most of the time, Muftada will be definite. Okay, And the Khabar is indefinite. But sometimes the Khabar can come definite. So if you want to say, this is the man. So what will you say? Hadhar Rajulu. Hadhar huh? Rajulu. But when you say Hazar Rajulu, there is a possibility somebody will say that a Rajul is the Badal. And the news has to come afterwards. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So Hazar Rajulu Minasini. Are you with me? Hazar Rajulu Minasini. So then it is the Badal. But I do not want to <coughs> say that. I only want to say, this is the man. So, Hazar Rajulu, Rajulu is Khabar. But it can be confusing huh? to some person or to most of. Unless we specify, it becomes confusing. There is an ambiguity in here. In order to remove that ambiguity, you bring a suitable Damir. <clears throat> what will you say? Hada huwa rajulu. What is the job of huwa here? That it separated Muptada and Khabar. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So I'm going to write it. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters, Hadar Rajulu, this is the man. Where is Muptada? Hadar. Where is Khabar? Rajulu. In this case, the Khabar is definite. Huh? Normally, the Khabar would be Haza Rajulun. Huh? Muptada Khabar. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. But if I do not write the meaning, you may translate this as a, this man. Huh? You can translate both ways. This is the man or this man. Which is the correct translation? Huh? Because if you say this is Badal, then you are waiting for the news. Okay? So in order to remove the ambiguity, we bring in a Damir, which is called Damirul Fasli. What is it called? Damirul Fasli. Now this will come in the Quran all the time. So you will say Haza, and then you will say Huwa, and then you say Rajul. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Haza, Huwa, Rajul. So, so Haza is Muptada, Huwa, is Damirul Fasli. And then Arajulu is Khabar. Now, there will be some people who will uh, analyze it in a different way. Huh? They will say, Haza Muftada. Huwa Muftada number two. And Arajulu Khabar number two. And Huwa Rajulu, what is the meaning of Huwa Rajulu? He is the man. Ajumlatul Ismiyatu. Coming as a khabar for Hazar. Did you get it? Huh? It is possible that you make this as a Jumla Ismiya and this will come as a khabar for Hazar. This is a possibility. Some will say. 
But grammatically, it is not correct. And some people will even say, and I've heard it, that this Hua is brought for emphasis. This, he is the man. They'll say, this has been brought for emphasis. This, he is the man. But from grammar point of view, this is Damir Fasli. It is only brought to separate Mubtada and Khabar so that there is no ambiguity. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Remember that. This is what Dr. Abdurrahim is trying to explain us. Huh? Okay? Damirul Fasli. What is the meaning of Damirul Fasli? Differentiating now. What is it? It differentiates. What does it differentiate between Muftida and Khabar? Keeps them separate. So there is no confusion. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now let's read quickly the rest of the it. Inshallah, you will understand. This is a man. Hadar Rajalu. And this is the man. Hadar Rajalu. But this sentence may also mean this man. Okay? The listener may think that you mean this man and wait for the khabar. To avoid this ambiguity, an appropriate pronoun is inserted between the mubtada and the khabar. Hadha huwa rajul. This is the man. How will I humul mujrimuna? How will I humul mujrimuna? These are the criminals. Hadhi hiya sayaratu. This is the car. How will I hunnal muslimatu? These are the Muslim ladies. The pronoun damir so used is called damirul. Firstly, the differentiating pronoun. Got the idea, brother and sister? Highlight this. Highlight this sentence, brother. The pronoun, the mir, so used is called the mirul fasli. Mudaf, mudaf ilahi. The differentiating pronoun. This ambiguity also occurs in a sentence where the muptada is a proper noun. Okay, and the khabar is an adjective or a noun having al. Example, hamidun, brothers and sisters, hamidun is a proper noun, it's a muqtada. And Allah ibu is an adjective, okay, a player. So if you say hamidun la ibu, hamid the player, then you are waiting for the news. But you don't want to say that. You want to say, Hamidun is the player. What did I say? Hamidun is the player. Huh? Then what do you do now? Huh? Hamidun laibu, which may mean Hamid the player. Or Hamid is the player. Got the idea? Hamid is the player or Hamid the player. If we mean Hamid is the player, we say Hamidun huwal laib. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So this way, the ambiguity is removed. Uh, this sentence is absolutely clean and precise in its meaning. Uh, here are some more examples of the Mirul Fasli. Ulaika humul mufli if you say ulaika al muflihuna, then muflihuna may become badal for ulaika. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? But you don't want here the meaning of badal. You want here the meaning of khabar. Then you bring in the hum. Zalika hu al fawzul azim. Got the idea? That is the great success. But the use of damirul fasli is not. It is not compulsory. Got the idea? If you think that there is no ambiguity, you need not use it. We have in the Quran, Zalikal Kitabu. 
فَذَٰلِكَ مُبْتَدَى الْكِتَابُ خَبَر That is the book. ذَٰلِكَ الْفَوْضُ الْعَزِيمُ So here the meaning is very clear. That is the great success. ذَٰلِكَ الْفَوْضُ الْعَزِيمُ So ذَٰلِكَ مُبْتَدَى الْفَوْضُ الْفَوْضُ خَبَر We cannot say badal here. Because there is nothing else. This is the sentence. ذَٰلِكَ الْفَوْضُ الْعَزِيمُ And azim is the naat. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Now, we are starting the lesson. Wherever you will see the mirror firstly, you can highlight it. Or <coughs> with a pencil, uh, make a circle. So you know this is the mirror firstly. Huh? So this is something new we are learning. And this comes very frequently in the Quran, brothers and sisters. <coughs> Did you know this before? You have been studying Quran for a long time, reading Quran for the long time, but we did not know this rule, brother and sister. Al Mudaris, Ya Ammaru, Hada Hu al Kutayibul Ladi Uridu Tarjamatahu, El al Lugatel Franciati, Ya Ammaru, Hada Hu al Kutayibul Ladi Uridu Tarjamatahu, El al Lugatel Franciati. Translation, brother. This is the book which I want translation of it in uh, French language. Atastatiu and tutar jimahu. Are you able to translate it? Tutar jima and tutar jima. Atastatiu. What is tastatiu? Form 10. Mudaria. Okay. Where is the file? Mustatir. Takdiruhu anta. And what is antutarjima masar muhawal fi mahalli nasbin mafulun bihi. And then who is your mafulun bihi for tutarjama. Fine, brother. Again, tutarjima the file is mustatir takdiruhu anta. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now, kutayyibu. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Do you remember kutayyibu? Okay, let me write it down to refresh you. If the noun is three letters, what is the wazan? Fuailun. Waladun, Ulaidun. Jabalun, Jubailun. Abadun, Ubaidun. Noun with four letters. Fuailun. Got the other idea? Kitabun, Kutayibu. See? Ki, Ta. How many letters are there? Four letters. So what will happen now? Kutai. And this alif changes into ya. Kutai. Yi. Boom. And then we have idgham. And it will become Kutai. Yi. Boom. Is it 100% clear, brother and sister? <clears throat> we have done this before. Number three. If the noun has got five letters, the wazan becomes fuai 
Ilun. Fin ja nun. How many letters? Fin ja nun? Five letters. How will you say now? Funai ji nun. Please remember, I'm just trying to refresh your memory. So this is what the Kotai Yib is, you know. Ismo Tasgir. Diminutive noun. Hmm? We have already studied it. Huh? Okay. Ammar is replying to the teacher. Astatiu. What is the meaning of astatiu? I can, I'm able to. Be awnillah. With the help of Allah. See, it's a very nice way of saying, you know, I can do it. But it's one condition. And that is, with the help of Allah. If Allah helps me, inshallah, I'll be able to do it. Okay. Faqad. No, qad is here. Fatahkik. Faqad tarjamtu. Tar. Jamtu. What will be the meaning of here? Fakat tar jamtu. I have. Huh? Huh? I have. Huh? Okay. Kabla haza. Before this. I have translated before this. Iddata. Hmm? This is the your mafulun uh, bihi. Iddata. Huh? Number of books. Iddata kutubin. Number of books. Iddata mudaf, kutubin mudaf ilayhi. Islamiyatin is the naat. Now, brothers and sisters, you translate. Fakad tarjamtu kabla hadha iddata kutubin islamiyya. I have translated before this number of Islamic books. Is it clear the translation? Inshallah. Al-Mudaris, Uridu an uwaziyal kutayyib al-mutarjama. Look at this sentence, brother. Uridu an uwaziyal kutayyib al-mutarjama. Translation, brother and sisters. What is the meaning of wazza yuwazi'u? To distribute. Huh? What is the meaning of wazza yuwazi'u? To distribute. I want to distribute. Huh? What do you want to distribute? Kutai Yama. Huh? Fine. A booklet. Mutarjama. What is Mutarjama? Isam Maful. It is Isam Maful. Huh? MashaAllah. Okay. I want to distribute the translated booklet. Ala Ikhwanin. Huh? To the brothers. Who are they? Hadith al Ahadil bil Islam. Brother, change this Ikhwanin into singular. Akhun. Huh? If it is Akhun, what will you say after that? I want to write down, brother. Ela Achin. Then what will you say? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? I'm trying to make you penetrate into this sentence. Go deeper into this sentence. Ela akhin. Sahi? Okay. And then, hadithil ahadi. Bil Islam. So, what is hadithi? It is mudaf. Mudaf, mudaf. Are you, are you with me, brother? But then, akhin, brothers and sisters, ila akhin is jar majroor. And because akhin has a 
tanween, it cannot be mudaf. So what is this hadith al-ahdi? It is a naat. What is it? Naat for whom? Akhin. Remember I told you that. Uh, this is the way naat will come. Okay? What is the bandhis? Ila akhin. I want to distribute to a brother uh, who is new in Islam. Uh? Okay? Are you with me, brother? I want to distribute to a brother new in Islam. Uh? So, hadith C is uh, the naat. Uh, brother and sister, hadith is the naat. And see, it is majroor. Why it is majroor? Because the manut is majroor. Uh, are you with me? The manut is majroor. Okay. So, and then ahadi is mudafilehi of hadith. Okay. And then bil islam jaya majroor. Uh, now change this akhim into ikhwanin. So what will become to hadith? Hmm? Let me write it down. Hmm, brother, sisters, let me write it down. Ela ikh wa nin. Are you with me, brother, sisters? I'm deliberately going into detail. Huh? For you to think it over and figure out. So hadithin or hadithi now has to be jama. So make hadith into jama mudakkar sahlim. So what will be hadithuna? Now make it majroor. Hadithina. Fine. Ha di si And now, it is after that, it is coming. Ahadi. What is this? Mudafilehi. So, if the Jama Mudakar Salam is Mudaf, the noon has to be dropped. So, this is what happened here. This noon got dropped. And what is the result now? Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Maybe you should insert noon before al, huh? so that you can have a thorough understanding. Still, ilai huanin huh? to the brothers. And what is what is hadisil ahdi? What is hadisil ahdi, brothers and sisters? The whole thing is an adjective. It's a naat. Huh? This is the naat, okay? Inshallah. You got the idea, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. Ammar says, Izan, look at it, brother and sister. Izan, Utarjima, who? Why, brother, Utarjima? Izan has come. Nawasibu Mudaria. Izan, Utarjima, who? Translation? I will translate. See, if you use Izan, the meaning has to be future. Uh, otherwise, Izan cannot make the verb mansu. Izan utarjimahu fi akrabi waktin mumkinin. Translation, brothers and sisters, in that case, I will translate. In the nearest possible time. Huh? Inshallah. So, fi afchar akrabi isam majroor wa huwa mudaf waktin mudaf ilayhi and mumkinin naat. It is naat. Huh? Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Are you following me? I hope you are following me. Inshallah. Now, 
Mother is saying to Ammar, Ya Ammaru, because he can translate Arabic to French. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So the mother is asking him, Ya Ammar, in Naka, truly you are Tujidul Logat al Franciata. You are very proficient. You are expert in French language. Hmm? Tujidu, what is Madi, brothers and sisters? Ajada. Huh? What is the meaning of Ajada? To do something expertly, in a very nice and excellent way. Huh? To do proficiently. So the teacher is saying, Ya Ammar, inna ka tujidu logata al Franciata. Here the, brother, the meaning will be, you know it very well. Huh? You are proficient in it. Watatakallamu. Huh? What is the meaning of takallamu? To speak. Watatakallamu ha. And you speak it. Kama yatakallamu. Ahlu Fransa. As the people of France. You are speaking like the people of France. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Is the translation clear? Inshallah. Afaishta, brother. What is this here? Afaishta? What is a? Harfu istifam. What is fa? Harfu atfin. But it came late. Why? <laughs> because it is Queen Victoria. It will not allow anything to come before her. If it was hal there instead of a, uh, brother and sister, if it was hal, how would you say it? Fahal. Fahal. Huh? But in this case, the, the Queen Victoria will not allow it. Hamzatul Istifam will not allow anybody to come in front. Huh? So this rule is also explained in this letter, lesson. This rule is also explained in this lesson. Now, brother and sister, we already I have been playing with this rule and we understand it very well, alhamdulillah. So it's not difficult. Afaishta fi Faransa, what is the meaning of it? Did you live in France, brothers and sisters? Naam, what is the answer? Yes. In Nani, verily I. Walitu. So, brother, Walitu is a jumla. Failure coming as a khabar for inna. Got the idea? Huh? You got to think like that also. Huh? Where is the ismu inna? Ya mutakallim. Okay. Walidtu, I was born. Nashatu, you can say I was raised. Watara raatu, watara raatu. And I grew up. Huh? But the nashatu and Tara, ra'atu, the meanings are almost identical. Sometimes we use the same thing. I grew up and was raised. It's the same thing, you know. Fi baris. In, in Paris. Lianna, because Abi, my father, kana yamalu hunaka. Kana yamalu hunaka. How will you translate this, brothers and sisters? Kana is madi. Uh, and followed by mudarya. It is, gives you the meaning of past continuous tense. Huh? In English we say past continuous tense. You can translate it in two ways. Because my father was working there. Or you can say my father used to work there. Huh? Okay. Fine. In Nahu Bakiya, he remained there, Fi Faransa. How long did he remain there? Khamsa Asharata Sanatan. Now, brothers and sisters, what is this Khamsa Asharata? Okay, we know it is a number. We know it is Mabni. Huh? So, what is Khamsa Asharata? It is here, Mafulun. 
fihi. What is mafulun fihi? Tell me the other word for mafulun fihi. Zarf. What is the meaning of it, brothers and sisters? Zarf. Are you with me? So, khamsa asharata. And how do you know it is mafulun fihi? Because it is only a number. But the time is coming after that. What is that? Sanatan. So what will you call Sanatan here? Tamiz. Tamiz. Remember from 11 to... 11 to 99. Huh? Tamiz comes, you know. Tamiz comes to remove any ambiguity. If, we, if you say Khamsa Asharata, what then? Huh? Then bring in Tamiz. So it is, brothers and sisters, Sanatan is your... Tamiz. And khamsa asharata, you can say it is zarf. Or you can say mafulun fihi. Got the idea? Quickly translation, brother. He Truly he remained in France 15 years. Huh? Inshallah. Okay. Huh? Make a note of it. Underline it. Put it in a circle with a pencil if you wish. You know, So you know it is damirul fasli. But then she said, this is the first time we are coming across this. And Dr. Abdurrahim is so meticulous. Uh, he will not bring rules and uh, concepts together from everywhere. One by one, bit by bit, uh, he will bring the concepts. And then he will make the dialogues in which he will use these concepts. And it makes it very easy for us to understand. From now onwards, the will firstly will come. But this is the first time we are coming across Tamirul Fasli. Sister Sukhaina? Yes, of course. That's why I started explaining you. Sister Sukhaina, the reason I started explaining you Tamirul Fasli, it was because of this. Haza, huwa al So what is huwa there? I think I asked you to underline it huh? yeah. and circle it, inshallah. Yes. And this is number two. Aza huwa sababu. If you remove huwa from it, what will you say? Aza sababu. No, this reason. It can also mean this reason. But we want to be sure that the person who reads it understands that this is muftada and khabar. Ikra'il ayati. Ya Ahmed, what is al ayati? Mafulun bihi. Inshallah. Why it has kasra? Chama amwana salim. Very good, brothers. Look at it here, brothers and sisters. Badama yastaidu. Now, what is this badama yastaidu? What is this ma doing here now? Ma al mastari. Okay, remove ma and change the verb into master. What will you say? Badal istiazati. What will you say? Badal istiazati. So, brother, watch for this. Now, if bada comes and after that ma comes, followed by fel madi or mudarya, it's a very easy clue for us. To figure out that that ma is ma al mastariya. So write down here, brothers and sisters, for your uh, you know understanding that this is ma mastariya, and also write it without ma. How will you say? Badal istiazati. Badal istiazati. You want me to write it on the board? You can do it. You want me to write it? Okay, inshallah, I'll write it. Sometimes, you know, because we are not very fluent uh, in Arabic, we get a little problem in pronouncing this, brothers and sisters. Huh? If you were to, to study this from your childhood, or if you, if you are, you know, your mother tongue is Arabic, you have no problem. 
سوری جول سے با دستی آزادی با دستی آزادی بٹ فار سمپلسٹی آئی اسٹل فیل دیٹ وائل وی آر لرننگ بردر وی کین سی بادل استیاتی بادل استیاتی اینڈ وین یو بیکم ویری پروفیشنٹ دین یو ول ان شاء اللہ وونٹ پروناؤنس حمدت الواصل کر دائی دیا بدن سسٹرس ان شاء اللہ Still some scholars say no. Hamzatul Vasal is Hamzatul Vasal. If it does not come in the beginning of the sentence, you do not pronounce it. But don't worry, brothers and sisters, I'm only pointing out to you that I'm doing this just for the sake of simplicity and ease. Later on we can pronounce it correctly, inshallah. So this is the meaning of Badama. This is the meaning of Badama Yasta Izu. Fine, well said. Wa idh kaala Ibrahimu Rabbi arini kaifa tukhjil mauta. Okay, well, sister, Izh has come. It means there is something ma'zuf. And what is Ma'zuf, brothers and sisters? Whenever Ith comes, what is Ma'zuf? Uthkuru. Huh? What is Ma'zuf? Uthkuru. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters. When Ibrahim said, Rabbi, What is Rabbi here? Yeah. Ya Arfunida is Mazuf and <coughs> Mudafilehi is Mazuf. Okay. And we have to learn in this lesson the details of this kind of a expression. It's coming later on. Arini, what is Ari? Fellow Amar. What is the verb? Ara. What is Mudariya? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cut to be very careful, brothers and sisters. Remember, Ra'a is fel fulasi. So it is Yara. Ra'a, Yara. Now change this into form four. It becomes Ara. Are you with me? You got to remember these things. Ara, what will be the mudariya? Yuri. Huh? Yuri. We have done this, brother, many times. Inshallah, when you will get the <coughs> DVDs, you will be able to refresh yourself, inshallah. So from Yuri, five in your pocket, Yuri, Turi, Turi, Uri, Nuri. Okay, so Ari is Fielu Amrin, Mabniun Allah, Hazfi, Harfi Illa. Now, brothers and sisters, I will emphasize that when you think about Modarya, always think in this way, for our simplicity and ease. Break the Modarya into three sections. What are those three sections? Five in your pocket, noon aata hai, noon jata hai, and mabni. Eh? I will say, five in your pocket, noon comes, and noon goes, and the mabni. If you think like that, you will understand things with much clarity, inshallah. Eh? So, because something else is coming in which your understanding of five in your pocket will help you a lot. Will help you a lot, inshallah. Arini, brothers and sisters, noon vikaya, and what is yamata kalam? Bafulun bi. How will you translate? Show me. O oh my, oh my Rab, show me. Kaifa tuhiyil ma. How do you give life to that dead? Are you with me? So, what is tuhiyi? What is madi? Ahya. 
How do you write Ahya, brothers and sisters? In the dictionary, it is written like this. Huh? Okay, should not confuse you. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? That's the way it is written. Huh? Ahya Yohji. So you understand the meaning, you can translate and understand. What is Allah saying? Awalam. Again, wow came after Hamzatul Istifam. We know why. Awalam Domin. Translation, brother? Don't you believe? Huh? Okay. Or didn't you believe? Kala Bala. Yes, indeed. Walakin, but li la muta'alil li yatma'inna kalbi. But I want to reassure my heart. Okay? Fine, brothers and sisters. Now, here comes one of the most beautiful sentences, brothers and sisters. I, I simply love this verse. What is Quran, brothers and sisters? What is Quran? How will you answer? It's the word of Allah. We all say it's the word of Allah. Where is it written? Who told you that? Allah said it. Where did he say it? In the Quran. <laughs> See, so in, in other words, what is Quran is mentioned in the Quran. And who mentions it? The author of the Quran. Who is the author of the Quran? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He mentions it. And what else is Quran? Who will tell us? Let the author of the Quran tell us what Quran is. Are you with me? Let the author of Quran speak and inform us what else is Quran. It is the word of Allah. What else it is? Brother and sister, this ayah defines what the Quran is. Huh? And, and if you understand properly, this is such a meaningful and beautiful verse, brothers and sisters. Look at it. Allahu Muftada. Where is the khabar? Huh? Where is the khabar? Nazala. What is Nazala, brothers and sisters? Form 2, uh, Nazala, Form 2, okay. So this is your Jumla Felia, uh, brothers and sisters. Fi Mahali Rafa'in Khabar Mubtada. Got the idea? Everybody? Okay, now Nazala, it is Form 2. We need Mafulun Bihi. Where is the Mafulun Bihi? Ahsana. Uh, ahsana. And what is Ahsana? Uh, it's a superlative degree. Superlative degree. Yeah? MashaAllah. More than that, here it is mudaf. And what is mudaf ilayhi? Hadithi. Now translate this. Allah, He brought down the most beautiful speech. What is it, brother and sister? He brought down the most beautiful speech. Are you with me? Now, here is a superlative degree. Ahsana, hadith. Mudaf, mudaf ilayhi. Now, Allah is describing the Quran. What is Quran? It is the most beautiful speech. Fine, brothers and sisters. What is it? Kitaban. Kitaban. No. We got to think very deeply. And you know, this is the way you will, inshallah, study the Quran. And if you analyze few verses of different kinds, then all that knowledge will come to use again and again and again. Here, brothers and sisters, Kitaban is Mansu. So then the question is, maybe it is Tamiz, maybe it is Maful Mutla. No, brothers and sisters. What is Kitaban? It is Badal. <laughs> badal for what? Asana. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? 
Huh? What is kitabang? Uh, it is the badal. Huh? Because if you remove ahsana, hadith, what will you say? Allahu nazala kitaban. Then it will become mafulun bihi. But we already have mafulun bihi. So what is kitaban here? Badal. Huh? Make a note of it, brothers and sisters. Very good. And then comes mutashabihan. Huh? Kitaban mutashabihan. This is your naat. Okay? And then again, masaniya. But with a single fata. Masaniya. Huh? It is dipped out. Huh? So again, that is your naat also. What is the meaning of mutashabihan? Consistent. Huh? Means the ayats are consistent with each other. Uh, the verses are consistent in its meaning, uh, in, in, in its message, in its guidance. They are consistent with other verses. That is the meaning of mutasha behind. And then, brother and sister, masaniya, it is mankuf. Masanin became masaniya. Okay? Okay, it, yeah, open up. Why? Because it is mansub. Okay? What is the meaning of masaniya? Means it, they are repeated. Uh, in the Quran, the ayats are repeated to emphasize the message. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Fine, brothers and sisters. What is after that? This is the verb we are studying. Taksha iru minhu juludaladina yakshauna rabbahum. Translation, brother. See, here is the verb. Taksha iru. Is it mudariya, madi? Mudariya. Why it is tak and not ya? Because the file is. File is moanas. Where is that moanas? Jolud. I don't see it is moanas. You will have to say, of course it is moanas. Because. Kullu jama monas. Julud is the plural. And what is the singular of julud? Jild. Jildun. Skin. Here it is skins. Okay. Okay, what is the meaning of tak shairu? Tremble. Shiver and tremble, brother. Whose skin shivers, brother? And yadina yakshauna rabbahum. Okay, brother, this is Quran. This is the Quran. This is the miracle of the Quran. That Allah brought down the, the message, the most beautiful speech, and the skins of those who fear their Lord, they shiver. Are you with me? They tremble. When they hear the recitation and when they read it, their skins shiver, brothers and sisters. It will only have this effect which Allah is telling us if we understand. If you don't understand, it will have no effect on us. See the importance of understanding, brother? This message of Allah is so important that the skins of those who fear their Lord, they shiver with the Quran, from the Quran, from the recitation of it, and from the uh, hearing of it. But provided we understand what is being said to us, otherwise we are like stone. It doesn't affect us, brothers and sisters. Fine. So this is the meaning, brother. Uh, that most beautiful speech, brothers and sisters, those who fear their Lord, hmm, their skins shiver when they, from it, from the Quran. Huh? In other words, when they recite it or when they uh, hear it. Huh? Okay, brother. First the skin shivers. Then what happens? Thumma, talinu. What is the meaning of talinu, brother? 
Huh? What is the Mahdi? Lana. What is the Mahdi, brothers and sisters? Lana. Yali. No. To become soft. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Lana. Yali. Huh? What kind of a verb is Lana? Ajabav. Aliyai, mashallah, mashallah. Okay, but that is talinu. Why talinu? Because the file is mo'annas. Thumma talinu juluduhum wa kulubuhum. And then their hearts become soft and their skins become soft, brother. When will it happen to us? When we understand. When we understand the language of the Quran and the message of the Quran, both the things, brothers and sisters. The message of the Quran, of course, you can read English translation, you get the message, but it is not 100%, brothers and sisters. It is not 100%. Huh? The, the translation does not convey the meaning of the Quran. You got to learn the language of the Quran to understand the meaning of the Quran. Otherwise, the job is half done. Huh? The job is half done. Okay. Fine. So, thumma talinu juluduhum wa kulubuhum ila dhikrillahi. And then their hearts and their skins become soft huh? with the zikr of Allah. Huh? This happens, brother. Okay. Next one. Zalika Hudallahi. Zalika Hudallahi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Zalika Hudallahi. So, what is this Zalika? I know. Very good, mashallah. And where is the khabar? Huda. What is Huda? It's the master of Hada Yahdi, which means the guidance. And Zalika Hudallahi. That is the guidance of Allah. But I ask you, brother, where does the zalika, which is a damir, it is a pronoun, where does it go to? Al Quran, mashallah. See, Sister Mamuna, you are absolutely right. That is the guidance of Allah. What is the guidance? The beautiful speech. And what is that beautiful speech? The kitab. And what is that kitab? The Quran. That is the guidance of Allah. Quran is the guidance of Allah, brothers and sisters. You cannot change this statement. This statement will remain forever and ever that the Quran is the guidance of Allah. Nobody can change this. Huh? Because the Quran is so unique. Huh? It is so very, very special. Nothing has been created to match Quran. Huh? It is an ultimate miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The everlasting, the perpetual, huh? it will remain miracle till the end of the time. Whether you believe in it or you don't believe in it. Huh? If you believe in it, then you are a mu'min. If you don't believe in it, then you are a, you are a kafir. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine. So believing in Quran, huh, that this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and it is the guidance, and it is the noor. There are other verses in which Allah describes Quran as a noor. Okay? These are all in the Quran, brother. These verses are all in the Quran. So, zalika hudallahi. Okay? That is the guidance of Allah. Okay. What is next? Yahdi bihi. Bihi. What is bihi? Jar majur. Okay? What is he? Pronoun. It must go somewhere. Where will it go to? Huh? Quran. It will go again to Quran. Be he. He is Quran. And where is the file of Yahdi? Allah. Are you with me? So Allah guides with it. And what is that it? The Quran. Huh? And of course when you say Quran, it means the message. Okay. May Yashaw. 
and he get, dives with it whom he wishes. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, Yahdi, Felun, Mudarion, Marfoon, Bidamatil Mukaddara, Fail Mustatir, Takdiruhu, Hua, Yadullu, Allah, Allah. What is man doing here? What is man doing here, Sister Mamuna? Yahdi, man. Yahdi, man. Mafulun bi. You need mafulun bi from Yahdi. Are you with me? So, so he guides. Whom does he guide? He wishes. The whom he wishes. So man is here. Mafulun bi. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? And what is Yashau? Silatul Masul. So it is Yashau is a jumla failure. Sha'a Yashau. Ajwaf. File is mustatir, again takdiru huwa, yadullu alallah, fine brother. So, that is the guidance of Allah. He guides with it whom he wishes, uh, brothers and sisters. Now comes wow, harfu atf. And what is this man, brothers and sisters? This is ismu, ismu shart. Ismu shart jazimun. Hmm? Tajzimu fi alayni. Yudlil. This is fi'alu shart. Huh? Yudlil is fi'alu shart. Allahu is the file. For my yudlil lahu. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? For my yudlil lahu. So Allahu is the file. What is this yudlil? Uh, brother and sister, again we have to learn something more. I'll explain this in detail very soon. But let us... You did not tell me what is Yudlil. What form of a verb is this? Adalla, mashallah. If you got it, that it is form for, what shall I say? Subhanallah, mashallah. Excellent, huh? brother. Adalla. Tell me what is Adalla. Break it down. If it is form 4, what is form 4? Af'ala. What is it? Af'ala. So the verb is Adlala. Why did you make it Adalla? Because when it is Mudaf, when the Ain Kalima and Ram Kalima are same, brothers and sisters, then we give idgham. Are you with me? We make it idgham. Huh? So, adlala, huh? we, we switch the signs over. What did we do? I put fatah here, and I put sukun here. And then I made idgham. So it became adalla. Now make it mudariya. Huh? What will be the mudariya? Yudillu. Break it down, brothers and sisters. Yudlil. What is it? Yud. Lil. Okay, now sometimes when you are making fail mudariya majizum, then if the verb is a mudaf, uh, we break it down. Uh, are you with me, brothers and sisters? When the verb is mudaf, we break it down. We break the idgham. It is called fakkul idgham. Breaking of the idgham. It's all there mentioned in the key very beautifully. Most beautifully, Dr. Sahib has explained us. Okay. Now this will happen. Normally, it does not happen. It only happens, uh, it only happens when we attach mutaharrik pronouns. Are you with me? Have you forgotten that? Uh, I will give you another verb, a simpler verb, brother. I 
Ahabba. What is the originally? Ahbaba. Fine. What is the mudariya? Yohibbu. Huh? What is originally? Yohbibu. Are you with me? See, Arabic is like mathematics. I've got to understand all these things. Yoh Bibu. Fine. When do you break it normally? When do you break it normally? Sister Sukhaina? Ahabba, Ahabba, Ahabu, Ahabbat, Ahabbata. Why did you break the Adhram? Mutaharik pronouns. That is the normal reason. Uh, whenever you have a mutaharik pronoun, you got to break the fakoid. I mean, you got to break the idgham. You have to break the idgham, okay? Which we call it fakko idgham. Now, brother, yohibbu, make it yohibbu. Yohibbu, yohibbani, yohibbuna, tohibbu, tohibbani. Yohbibna. Why Yohbibna? Mutaharik pronoun came. So, so in Mudarya, there are only two Mutaharik pronouns which come as a file, which are attached to the verb. And when they come, when they join the verb, then the idgham has to be broke up. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Keep this rule in mind. Okay? This is what we are going to study in detail here. And it's so beautiful. Without the knowledge of this, brothers and sisters, some of the verses of the Quran will not make any sense to you. And we are going to read the key because there are some beautiful examples and I want to show you properly in the key, inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters. So here comes the my yudlil. So what happened, brothers and sisters? Yudillu, are you with me? Make it mansub. Yudilla, make it majizum. Yudilla again, remember. Yudilla again. It is again because the way it is now, if I break it, brothers and sisters, it is like this. Yudillu. Yudillu. If I have to make it much zoom, I have to give it a sukun here. Are you with me? No, I cannot pronounce. So I bring a temporary fata. Remember? Like yahujja. Huh? Lam ahujja. Huh? So if you say This is much zoom. I want you to define this. How will you define it? Fe'alun, mudhariun, maj zoomun, wa alamatu jazmihi, as-sukunu, mukaddara. Because you know that there is a sukun there, which we change into fata for our reason of pronunciation. So, yudilla is maj zoomun. Bi sukunil mukaddara. So there is one way of writing majzum yudilla, and what is the other way of writing? You break the idgham. Are you with me? You break the idgham. What happened? Yudililu, and then you say yudilil. What do you say? Yudilil. Now here, brothers and sisters, listen to me very carefully. This can be done only, only in the mudarya in which you got five in your pocket. You can't do this noon ata and noon jata. You will only do it with five in your pocket. Are you with me? That's why I said it's so important for us to remember that the mudarya has got how many sections? Three. This is for our ease, brother. You won't find 
this explanation in the books. It is only for our ease. The way we are explaining, of course there are explanations in the books, but the way I want to make it so very simple and easy, brother and sister, is that you divide the fair mudarya into three parts. Number one, five in your pocket. Number two, noon comes and noon goes. And number three, mabani. So this can only happen when those verbs are in your pocket. Then you can either break the idram or leave it. And one other time. Are you with me? Five in your pocket is the one uh, section in which you can break the idram. If it is majuzum and it comes in the Quran all the time. And the next one is fellow Amar. But only in singular form. Anta. Are you with me? Anta only, huh? Not in anti, but only anta. This will happen. And everything is explained in this lesson. You know, I thought I will finish it in one session, but no, I want to take it a little longer so that you have a thorough understanding, brothers and sisters. Thorough understanding of this concept. Okay? And it is so beautiful. And if you'll understand, you'll say, Subhanallah, MashaAllah. You know, I really understand the Quran and I feel it, you know, inshallah, in my heart. So here it is, brother and sister, for my yudlil, huh? Allahu. Now, what is the translation of this? And the one, Allah. How can Allah uh, uh, misguide somebody? No, but if that person is stubborn, doesn't believe in Allah, so then Allah lets him go. Then Allah lets him go astray. Are you with me? And whom Allah lets somebody go astray, are you with me, brothers and sisters? Remember this. This is Allah is saying. Uh, the one whom Allah has let go astray, whom Allah leads astray, what happens then? Then there will be nobody who will guide him. See how powerful this verse is, brothers and sisters. How powerful and significant this verse is. It tells you about the Quran, what Quran is. Uh, of course we know it's the word of Allah. But the other characteristics of the Quran. That if, you, if we understand it. And if we believe in Allah. We will feel it in our hearts. In our body. That our hearts and our skins will shiver. And then they will become soft. Because now we understand who Allah is. And then we make his zikr. We feel peace. Uh, and tranquility in our heart. Allah bi zikr Allahi, Allah bi zikr Allahi, tat ma'innu kulu, Allah bi zikr Allahi, tat ma'innu kulu. See, isn't that with the zikr of Allah, the hearts feel tranquil, reassured? So, same thing happens here, okay? Thumma talinu. Juluduhum wa kulubuhum ila zikrillahi, brothers and sisters. Fine. So now, uh, yudlil is, is majzum. Uh, but remember, yudlil is from five in your pocket. Uh, write down on top of it, brothers and sisters. Yudillu. Write down adalla. So you know it is form four. So you, when you revise it, you are not confused. Uh? Write down adalla. And Yudillu. Write down, brothers and sisters. Fine. So, Yudlil is your Felu Shart. Where is Jawab Shart? Why for Haska Masan? Because remember that poetry, brother? Ismiyatun, Talabiyatun, Wabi Jamid, Wabi Ma, Walan, Wabi Kad, Watanfis. If you know that sentence, if it is 
If it is engraved in your heart, huh? if it is engraved in your heart, you will never make a mistake. Inshallah. So far, al fau waqiyatun fi jawabu shat. Ma lahu. Brothers and sisters, what is ma lahu? What is this ma? Ma al hijaziyah. It is ma nafi. But al hijaziyah. See, now we are going further in detail, you know. This is ma al hijaziyah. Okay, brothers and sisters. Yamalu amala laisa. Huh? It does the job of laisa. Huh? In other words, what is the meaning of this, brothers and sisters? The ma will have ismu ma and it will have khabar ma. And khabar ma will be huh? khabar ma will be mansu. Khabar ma will be mansu. Huh? Okay, fine, brother. So what is lahu? Jar majur shibu jumla fi mahalli nasbin khabaru ma. Fine, brothers and sisters. And what is min hadin? Where is, where is the ismu ma? Where is the ismu ma, brothers and sisters? Mustatir? Ismu ma mustatir? Sister Mehmuna? What is min here, Sister Nusrat? Min zaida. What is this? Min zaida. Remove min. Remove min, Brother Hassan. What will become to hadin? It will remain hadin, but it will be mar- marfu, which is actually hadiyun. But we again say hadin. So min is your min zaida. Okay. And then hadin is your ism, ism, ma al hijazia. And then you, you will say al jumlatul ismiyatu fi mahalli jazmin jawabu shat. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. Inshallah, you will be able to do a lot of things this way, brothers and sisters. Okay. Before we go to the next verse, uh, I think it's time we should take a break. It is so interesting, the time seems to fly. I even don't feel that we have been studying for one hour and 45 minutes. But alhamdulillah, when the lesson becomes very interesting, the time seems to fly. Let's take a short break, brothers and sisters, and we will, inshallah, come back. We are back from our break. Jazakillahu khairan, Sister Memuna. Jazakillahu khairan, Sister Aisha, for treating the class. May Allah bless you for your generosity and your kindness. We all enjoyed it. We start with the next ayah, brother and sister. See, this is the, another beauty of book three, that we l- learn so many things with the help of the Quranic verses. وَإِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَحْدَهُ Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What is إِذَا? إِذَا is a إِسْمُ شَرْتُ غَيْرُ جَازِمٍ Okay. So where is the fellow shart? ذُكِرَ What is ذُكِرَ? مَجْهُول Where is the naif file? Allahu. Okay, very good, brother. What is this? Wahda. Wahda. No. Hal. In what condition? Huh? Sister Abza? Hal. Alone. Alone. Wahdahu. Alone. Not associated with anybody. Huh? So who goes back to Allah? Huh? Wahda is Hal. Bahuwa mudaf and who is mudafilihi. So, wa idha zukira Allahu wahdahu. Translation, brother. Now remember, translation has to be in the present tense. So it means this ayah will be valid forever and ever. Huh? When Allah is mentioned all by Himself, 
Only you mention Allah, nobody else. Huh? You mention Allah all by Himself. What happens? Ishma azzat. Ifma azzat. This is Felmadi, brothers and sisters. What is the form of verb? Huh? What is the form of verb? If, if, alallah, if, alallah, ish ma'azza, if, alallah. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? No, this is your jawabu shart. Huh? This is your jawabu shart. Huh? Where is the file? Kulubul ladheena. So, how will you define kulubul ladheena? What is kulubu? What is kulubu? Fine. Huh? What is a lazina? Mudafilehi. What is it? Mudaf. See, kulubu, single. Dhamma. So it is mudaf, a lazina, mudafilehi. So here, a lazina is mudafilehi. Huh? And then the rest of it, brother and sister, is your silatul mausul. La yuminuna bil akhirah. How will you translate, brothers and sisters? When Allah is mentioned all by Himself, the hearts of those, huh? what will you say, brothers and sisters? When Allah is mentioned all by Himself, huh? the hearts of those who do not believe in Akhirah feel disgusted. Huh, brothers and sisters, those who do not believe in Akhirah, when Allah is mentioned to them, their hearts feel disgusted. Allah is the creator. Allah is the one who created everybody. Allah is the one who provides our rizq. The air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat. Everything is provided by Allah. But when you mention Allah all by himself, those who do not believe in the akhirah, their hearts feel disgusted. Okay. وَإِذَا Again, another sentence, another shart. وَإِذَا ذُكِرَ الَّذِينَ Brother, ذُكِرَ الَّذِينَ What is لَذِينَ here now? Naif file. See, we got to figure it out. Huh? Before it was مُدَاف إِلَيْهِ كُلُوبُ الَّذِينَ مُدَاف مُدَاف إِلَيْهِ Now it is straight away naif file. مِن دُونِهِ Other than Allah. Hmm? And if you mention those other than Allah, Izahum Yastab Shiruna. Then those very people whose hearts are disgusted when you mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, they feel very happy. When you mention other people than Allah, Mindunihi. Other than Allah, then their hearts are, they have become very happy. But when you mention Allah, they don't feel happy. Okay, they, they are disgusted. Now here, we have to understand something else, brothers and sisters. Wa iza zukira shart. There was a fialu shart in the sentence before that. What was the jawabu shart, brothers and sisters? Ishma huh? Azzat, another verb. So there was no need for fa. Now here, hum yastab shiruna. There is a need for fa. Fa hum. Are you with me? If if the jawabu shart is jumla ismiya, do you need fa? Of course you need fa. Why the fa has not come? The fa has been replaced by iza al fujayatu. Iza of surprise has replaced the fa. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So iza has come here in place of fa. And what is this iza? This is the iza al fujayya. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Okay. So now translate, brothers and sisters. When the Allah is mentioned all by himself, the hearts of those who do not believe in Yawm al akhirah feel disgusted. And when 
other than Allah, the other deities are mentioned uh, suddenly. Then Ida here means surprisingly. Suddenly, what happens? Hum yastav shiruna. They are happy. Uh, suddenly, see, surprisingly, when you mention others, other than Allah, they feel very happy. All of a sudden, they feel very happy. But when you mention Allah only, only wahdahu, then their hearts are disgusted. Who says this, brothers and sisters? Allah himself says. This was valid. This message was valid. This message was valid at the time of the revelation of the Quran. This is what the kuffar used to feel with their 360 deities in the Kaaba. When Prophet ﷺ used to mention Allah only, they felt very disgusted. But all of a sudden when somebody mentions the other, they feel very happy. So this message was valid. It is valid now. Huh? When you mention and talk about Allah, some people don't like it. But when you talk about other deities in which they believe, huh? all of a sudden they are happy. And this message will remain you know, valid till the end of the time. Because everybody, all humanity is not going to believe in Allah. They are not going to believe in Allah. And if everyone that Allah has created does not believe in him, does it matter to him? It doesn't matter to him. Does he need our worship? No, he does not need our worship. We only worship to benefit our souls. Brothers and sisters, when you do good deeds, they are for our own good. Okay? So Allah is Ghani, is free of all wants. You know? But this is what happens. So this is again, brothers and sisters, such a beautiful verse, you know. But you have to understand, Sister Manas, here the verbs, the way they are given, and the shart, the conditions, the come it comes, the way the condition is brought, and the way Iza Fujaya is brought. Uh, you cannot translate this. You got to understand. This is Iza al Fujaya. Surprisingly, all of a sudden, they become very happy when they hear their own deities being mentioned. When, when the Allah is mentioned, they feel disgusted. So it's a very beautiful sentence, brothers and sisters. Something to ponder upon and think about. Yadukhulu rajalun wa yusallimu. Translation, brother. A man enters and gives salutation. Al-Mudaris. What is Mudaris doing now? Ba'adama yaruddul tahiyata. Ba'adama yaruddul tahiyata. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ba'adama yaruddul tahiyata. Radda yaruddu. What is the meaning of radda yaruddu? To return. Or reply. Ma yaruddu. What is this ma? Al-Mastariya. Change this, brother. No, you got to find the master of Radda Yaruddu. What is the Raddun? What is the master of Radda Yaruddu? Raddun. Huh? What is the master, brothers and sisters? So how will you translate now? Bada. Bada Bada Radd Tahiyati. That will be the translation. And if you use Ma Mastariya, then it will become Badama Yarudd Tahiyat. It is Mudaf Mudafili. Are you with me? This is Mudaf Mudafili. So Bada Zarf. Raddi, mudafilehi, wa huwa mudaf, and this is mudafilehi. Write it down, brothers and sisters. It will help you to understand better ma mastariya. Slowly and slowly, inshallah. Ya ikhwanu, mudaris is saying now. Mudaris is saying now, Ya ikhwanu, haza huwa al-muraqibul jadidu. 
So what is this hua here? The word fasli. Karda idea? It separates Mubtada and Khabar. Man kana ladehi su'alun. Whosoever has a question, fal yas'alhu. Man kana ladehi su'alun, fal yas'alhu. Again, this is man. What is this, brothers and sisters, man? Ismu shart. Tajizimu fi'alaini. Where is the first? Kana fi'alun madin mabniun ala fata fi mahalli jazmin. Fi'alun shart, okay? And what is, why fa has come? It is talab. It is talab. Huh? So what is fa alfa'u waqiyatun? Fi jawab is shart. And then, brothers and sisters, lam, lamu amar. And then, felun mudariun majzumun. And then, who is? Mafurun bihi. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Okay. So, then you will say, a jumlatul fi'aliyatu fi mahalli jazmin jawabu shart. I'm repeating all these things so that Inshallah, it will become very easy for you in future. Inshallah. Then Hamid is asking, Ya Shaykhu. What is Hamidin asking? Ya Shaykhu. Minna. Now this again needs more explanation and it is coming in the, in the key for us, you know, and in the dars also. Minna. Here, this min is very special. Okay. We are going to learn about it. What is the translation of minna? Some of us. What is it? Some of us. Minna man yuridu an yashtarika fi muathkari. Jamiati. Minna man yuridu an yashtarika fi muathkari jamiati. Translation, brothers and sisters. Some of us. Who, who want to, who want to participate? Who want to participate? Where? In the what is this, brother and sister? Muaskari. It is ismu makan. Huh? This is from what kind of verb is this? Rubai. What is the madi? Askara. You askiru. Got the idea, brother and sisters? So, this is ismu maful. It is ismu maful, but it is ismu makan. It is ismu makan. What is the meaning of muaskar? We had already learned the verb muhayyam. Remember muhayyam? Camp. Camp, yes. Camp. We had already learned that word, brothers and sisters. Muhayyam, which means camp. So, Muaskaril Jamiati Mudaf Mudafili. The university camp. Afa Yusad Jiluth Mahu Ladaikal Ayana. What is the translation, brothers and sisters? Should he register his name with you now? Okay, look at it, brothers and sisters. Minna. Some of us. Huh? Okay. Man is again shart. Are you with me? It is shart. Yuridu is mudarya. Marfu fi mahali jasmin. And where is the jawab? Why fa has come? It is talab. What kind of a talab is this? This is istifam. Huh? This is what is it? Istifam. Where is the istifam? Ah, but why has fa come afterwards? Because it will not allow anything to come before it. Okay, so here, Afa Yusad Jilu, brothers and sisters, Afa Yusad Jilu, this is a question, interrogation. That is why it needs fa. It is a part of talab. 
God the idea, everybody, brothers and sisters. So if you analyze it, a is harfu istifam, and what is fa? Harfu atf. And what is yusajjil? Fialun mudariun marfun bidamma. Fail mustatir. Takdiruhu huwa. Isma mafulun bihi. Wa huwa mudaf. Hu mudafili. What is this ladaika? What is ladai? It is zarf. Huh? And then ka is mudafili. Al ana, of course, it is zarful zaman. So, how will you translate this, brother? Then sisters, should he register his name uh, with you now? Okay, so question. And that is why we have this uh, fa coming here because it indicates talam. Huh? So then we will say, Ajumlatul fi'aliyatu fi mahalli fi mahalli jazmin jawabu shart. Got the idea? Alhamdulillah. Al muraqib. Naam. Haza. What is the meaning of haza here? Haza. What is haza? This. So, so brother and sister, what is what is haza here doing here? No, it cannot be muftida. Then the khabar has to come. Haza here is a khabar, and Muptada is Mahdu. What will you say? Bring Muptada now. Huwa Haza. What will you say? Huwa Haza means it is this. What that other person was asking, the Murakab is saying, yes, it is this. You can register uh, the name with me. Okay? So Haza here is, brothers and sisters, is your khabar, and muftada is mazuf. Huh? Now this is just for us to understand. You will always see these sentences, and you will ask yourself, what is it? And inshallah, you will be able to figure out the answers. وَأُرِيدُ أَنْ أَدُلَّكُمْ أَلَىٰ أَمْرٍ فِيهِ أَجْرٌ Inshallah. I want to direct you to a thing in which there is a lot of reward. Brother. Okay. I want you to look this, at the sentence very carefully, brother and sister. You know Adullah. Huh? Dalla yadullu. Huh? Okay. Ala amrin. What is amrin, brother and sisters? Ism majrur. But it is indefinite. What is it? It is indefinite. Fihi ajrun. What is fihi ajrun? Circle that. Fihi ajrun. And now analyze it. What is fihi? Jar majrur. Huh? Where is muftada? Ajrun. Fihi jar majrur shibu jumla khabar. Ajrun is your muftada. And this is jumla ismiya. What is this jumla ismiya doing here? Not, huh, Sister Hafsa, if the noun is indefinite, huh, then the sentence comes as a not. If the noun is definite, the sentence will come as a hal. Huh? So we are going to study this now. Huh? This concept, brothers and sisters, this concept, we are going to study it. Huh? Slowly, slowly. Okay? I am just trying to prepare you now. We never used to think like this before. Now we are thinking in detail. Huh? So, ala amrin, what kind of a thing? Describe it. Fihi ajrun. There is a ajar in it. Okay, That is the thing. So that sentence describes the uh, uh, manut, which is uh, amrin. Huh? Inshallah. Min tulabil mahadi Okay, but the translation of this, min tulabil mahadi. What is it, brothers and sisters? Some of the students, huh? not all, huh? some of the students of the institute, manhum 
bi hajatin ila musaidatin now you translate brothers and sisters some of the students who are in need of help got the idea some of the students of the institute who are in the need of help fasaidu so help so help them saidu is amar felu amrin mabniun ala alfi noon okay there is the file wow, wow. and what is home mafulun bihi mashallah so help them mimma atakumullahu what is the meaning of this from what allah has given you okay Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So, min tullab al mahdi, man hum bihajitin ila musaidatin. From the, some of the students of the institute who are in need of help, fasaiduhum. So help them. From what Allah has given you, man arada again shart, brothers and sisters. And you say either whom? Translation, brothers and sisters. Whosoever wants to help them, fal yatasil, fal yatasil, bi amini sundukil berri. Translation, brothers and sisters. He should contact the treasurer. What will be the translation of bi amini sundukil berri? The treasurer. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, arada, sister Maimuna, what is arada here? Felun madin, mabniun ala fata. Fine, ala fata. Okay. And fi mahali jasmine, felu shart. Okay, fine. And then fa has come. Alfau waqiyatun. Fi jawab is shart. Okay, brothers and sisters. And then, lamu amar. And then, fi'lun mudariun, majzumun bi lamu amar. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine. And bi arfjar amini, isim majrur wa huwa mudaf, and sunduki mudaf ilahi wa huwa mudaf, and albirri mudaf ilahi. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So, what will you say? Al-jumlatul, فی علیت و فی محلی جازمین جواب و شرط الحمدللہ we finished it brothers and sisters I took little long because I went into lot of details and inshallah it will help us to understand the rest of the concepts with ease we go now brothers and sisters to number four أين الأفعال الرباعية فيما يأتي؟ specify the four letter verbs, brothers and sisters. واذكر باب كل واحد منها and describe the باب of every one of them. Now you must describe in what way, brothers and sisters. Either you will say فعلا Either you will say this this verb is from Bab Fa'alala or you will say it is from the Bab Tafa'alala you will say Tafa'alala or if you will say if Alala or if you it is there you will say if Anlala you will have to describe it nicely brothers and sisters Dakhala Teflu Maktabi translation brothers and sisters the child entered my office. Wabasara. Wabasara al kutuba wal awraka. And he scattered uh, uh, the books and the papers. Uh, he disorganized everything. He made a mess of my office. Okay, brother, what is the verb of our importance? Baasara. What, what is the bab? What is the meaning of dag daga? 
to tickle somebody. Are you with me? How the child laughs when you tickle? tifla huh? I tickled the child and he laughed. Brothers and sisters, what is the verb? Dagdaga. Fa'alala. Inshallah. Atani tabibu dawa'an. Ata yoti. Needs two mafulun bihi. Are you with me? Form four. Where is the first mafulun bihi? Ya mutakalli. What is al tabibu? Fa'il. Where is the next mafulun bihi? Dawa'an. Okay. Li gargarati. Translation, brothers and sisters. The doctor gave me the medicine for gargling. So, what is gargarati? No. It is mustard. What is it? It is mustard. Now you describe the bab. It is the master. Are you with me? It is the master. This is not fiel mahdi. Kale ta'ala ala bi zikrillahi tatma'innul qulubu Isn't by the remembrance of Allah, the hearts feel reassured, feel at peace, the hearts feel tranquility? What kind of a verb is this? It is mudariya. What is the verb? If alalla. If alalla. That is very important. Maybe you can write down on a separate sheet of paper. Okay, and if you want, you can also check Hello Tamarin and see how Dr. Sab has presented it, you know. And then don't copy that, you make your own table and write down the verbs and you make your own explanation, you know. You write down your own results. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? What is Zuhziha? This is Majhul. Uh, fa, uh, this is, you know, fa'alala. Okay. So, brothers and sisters, what is this now? Explain me. Zah, zaha. To remove something. Uh, to remove somebody. Okay. To move somebody. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, for man. So, here, brothers and sisters, uh, man is again shart. Zuhziha is fi'alun madin lil majhul mabniyun ala fatah fi mahalli chasmin. Zuhziha is fi'alun madin lil majhul mabniyun ala fatah fi mahalli chasmin fi'alu shart. Anan nar char majrur. Wa udkhila. What is this? Wa udkhila. It is majhul. This is mautufun ala zuhuziha. It is mautufun ala zuhuziha. But what is this udkhila? Form 4. What is it? Majhul? What is madi? Adkhala. Huh? It is adkhala. Huh? Udkhila. Jannata fakad faza. See, fa has come and kad has come. And faza. What is faza? Felun madin mabnin ala fatha. Are you with me, brother and sister? File, mustatir, takdiru, huwa. Okay. So here, this al jumlatul fi aliyatu fi mahali jazmin jawabu shat. Now let us uh, translate, brother and sisters. Faman zuhziha anin nar. The one who is removed from the fire and udhila jannah. Translate, brother. He is, he is made to enter. Huh? He doesn't enter himself. But somebody makes him enter. Which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Are you with me? Then he is made to enter Jannah. What happens? He has succeeded. He has succeeded. Got the idea? Huh? So one who has been moved from the fire. And who has been made to enter Jannah. Truly. He has succeeded. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Next one, brothers and sisters. 
وفي حديث قدسي قال النبي قال الله تعالى يا ابن ادم يا ابن ادم او سن ادم قم يا عمر get up ilayya what is the meaning of ilayya but here you get up with the intention of walking towards me allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying come you get up but you have this intention when you get up that you are going to walk towards me ilayya ha huh? amshi ilayka no you have only got up you haven't started walking but your intention is to walk towards allah as soon as you get up the allah walks towards you huh? you haven't started walking towards allah but allah knows your intention so he walks towards you okay but come you can insert a shart what will be that shart in in takum in takum ilayya then the amshi will become your jawab shart here amshi is majzum why it is majzum jawab talab ha kum fi'l amr so amshi is jawab talab wamshi ilayya and walk towards me ha huh? and walk towards me ha huh? uhar will ilayka so what is this uhar will mudhariya ha huh? majzum so what is the bab har wala fa'ala got the idea one sisters here also you can insert a shart wamshi ilayya in tamshi ilayya if you walk towards me i will run towards you i'll jog towards you got the idea one sisters very beautiful meaning ha huh? Alhamdulillah. Rawahu Al Imam Ahmad. It is mentioned in the book of Imam Ahmad. An Abi Abdullah Sunabihi An Nabi Kala. This is the hadith of Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wa man tamad mada. Wa man tamad mada. واستنثر خرجت خطاياه من انفه وفمه تمدمد what is the meaning of tamadmada brother to rinse your mouth this is the time of when you are doing your wudu istansara means to means you sniff water ha huh? istansara means to sniff the water خرجت خطاياه his mistakes go away from his mouth and from his nose are you with me brothers and sisters inshallah again this is rawahu al imam ahmad another hadith brothers and sisters an ibn umara an an nabi qala inna allah In Allah, yakbulu taubat al abdi. Translation, brothers and sisters. Allah subhanahu wa taala accepts the tauba of the slave. Huh? Allah subhanahu wa taala accepts the tauba of the slave. Ma lam yugar gir. Ma lam yugar gir. Gar gara. Brother, what is the meaning of gar gara? Huh? It's the gargling ha huh? but what is the meaning here brother here it means write down this brothers and sisters when the soul of a person comes to his mouth brother it's about to go away and then you hear a person uh making a sound okay now that is the time the soul is leaving the body so allah subhanahu wa taala accepts the tauba of the abd his slave until the time he hasn't done the death rattle the translation does it make sense brothers and sisters huh you must have heard of this or you must have witnessed sometimes this 
I'll do the last one and the next one I will do uh, tomorrow, inshallah. Huh? I'll only do one more. La basa. La nafiatu lil jins. La basa. La nafiatu lil jins. La basa bil madmati. What is this madmati? Mustar. Huh? Okay? Huh? Madmada. But what is the meaning of madmada? You know, to rinse your mouth. Huh? Yes, to rinse your mouth. Kuli karna. Okay. But tabarrudi. What is tabarrudi? Tabarrada. What is the meaning of tabarrada? To pour cold water on the body. La basa. There is no problem. Are you with me? It does not matter. If the person who is fasting, if he rinses his mouth with water or takes a shower with cold water, there is no problem. His fast is still intact. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? That is the meaning of it. Okay. Alhamdulillah. We are moving forward. A little slow today. But I had so many things to explain you. Tomorrow, inshallah, we'll finish. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you, brothers and sisters. Before we proceed, I thought I will go through this uh, ayah, which we did study yesterday. I find it one of the most beautiful verses huh? because it speaks about the Quran. What is Quran? What does it do to us if we really understand it? Huh? The, the question is, if we really understand it. Huh? Because it's the most beautiful poetry in the world. Most beautiful literature. Most beautiful literature. In Arabic language, there is nothing ever created to match the eloquence and the beauty of Quran. Nothing has ever been created by anybody. And Allah has challenged them. Create. Make even a verse like this. So brothers and sisters, I'll go briefly through that. Huh? I'll be writing in short so that you know I do not make the board too crowded. Allahu. What is Allahu? Muftada. Huh? I will say Mubtada. What is Nazala? It's Fail Mahdi. What is Nazala? Fail Mahdi. Yeah? It means a Jumla failure is starting. Huh? Okay. Starting with Nazala. So, Al Jumlatul Fialiatul. Okay, now this is your khabar. Are you with me? And we will always write down fi mahali rafain if we have to. Khabarun. Huh? Huh? What is ahsana? Mafulun hmm? bihi for nazala. Mafulun bihi for nazala. So I will write down mafulun bihi plus mudah. Are you with me, brother and sister? I'm writing in short. Huh? And what is Al Hadith? Mudaf This is Mudaf Okay, brother and sister. See? Allah. Huh? What about Allah? Give some information. Huh? Give the predicate. If Allah is the subject, give us the predicate. If Allah is Muqtada, Give us the news. So what is the news? He brought down the most beautiful speech. The most beautiful. This is the superlative degree. Huh? Brothers and sisters. Kitaban. See, now you can even say hal. Because some scholars might say hal. But kitaban as a badal suits. Huh? Because it is in the form of a book, you know. 
So Allah has brought down a book. Huh? So I, we will say it is. What is it, brother? Okay, then what is mutashabihan? It is a knot. Knot for what? Kitab. Knot huh? for what? Kitab. Huh? I'm going to write down. Not. Number one. What is Thamaniya? Not again. So what will I say now? Number two. Remember I told you if the noun is indefinite, then if a Jumla follows that, that Jumla comes as a not. If the noun is definite, followed by a jumla, then that jumla becomes halun. Huh? We are going to uh, read it, study it in detail very soon, inshallah. But brothers and sisters, takshairru. What is takshairru? Again, a fail. Again, a jumla, failure is starting. Are you with me? Takshairu is starting a jumla failure. Takshairu. And we know what is uh, the verb. It is from a fail rubai al mazid. Huh? What is the version of it? If alalla. If alalla. Masha'Allah. Very good. Minhu charmash. Where is the file of takshairu? Julud. Huh? Because this is your file. Huh? And here, the file is mustatir. Huh? Failun mustatirun takdiruhu huwa. I'm talking about nazala. Failun mustatirun takdiruhu huwa yadullu ala Allah. Huh? Okay. Now, we say here. Julud is the file plus it is mudaf. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. What is mudaf ilayhi? Allah is in ismu mausula. It is mudaf ilayhi. Okay, and then yakshauna. Huh? What is yakshauna? What is the verb? Hashia. Hashia. Yaksha. Yakshayani. Yakshauna. So, felun, mudarion, marfun, bi subutinun. Where is the file? Wow. Wow is the file. Huh? Okay. And then, Rabbahum, what is Rabba? Mafurum bihi. Okay. This wow is the file. Okay. And Rabba is Mafurum bihi plus it is Mudaf. What is him? Mudaf lihi. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Is it clear? Inshallah. Now, the question is, Yakshauna Rabbahum uh, has come after Allah So even this is a Jumla failure, and this Jumla failure is Salatul Mausul. La Mahal Laha Min Al Arab. There is no other specification or value from the grammar point of it. You know, it is just Salatul Mausul. Okay, brothers and sisters. Now, the thing is, takshairu minhu juludul ladina. So, this is another jumla failure. What is the position of that jumla? Is it connected with something which has been mentioned previously? Yes, there is a connection. What is this, brothers and sisters? Not number three. Why it is not? 
because it is describing the book, what kind of a book it is. The book, huh? the contents of which the skins shiver, but the skins of those who fear their Lord, not of everybody. Those who have the fear of their Lord, their creator in their hearts, their skins shiver with the contents when they hear it or when they recite it. It means when we hear the Quran or when we recite it, then the skins of those who fear their Lord, if they hear it and they recite it, their skins shiver. Okay. And then thumma, what is thumma? Harf atf. Are you with me? This is atf. And then what is talinu? Fiel mudarya. Are you with me? Fiel mudarya. I will write down here also. Fiel mudarya. So, this is also Fialum Mudarium. And this is also Fial Mudaria. Now Talinu Bada Lana Yalinu Ajvaf Al Yai. Okay. Fialun Mudarium Marfun bi bi Dhamma. Okay? And then Julud Brothers and sisters, what is Julud? Fa'il plus Mudaf. And this is Mudaf Ilehi. Baal, Ataf. And then Kulub, Mautufun. Ala Julud. I need a board which is twice as big. <laughs> Are you with me? And whom is again? Mudafilihi. Got the idea? Ela zikrillahi. Ela. Harfchar. Isam majroor. Plus. Mudaf. And then. Mudaf ilihi. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. Zalika. Huh? What is Zalika, brother? Muptada. Huh? Muptada. Okay? Zalika is Muptada. What is Huda? Khabar. Plus Mudaf. This is Mudaf Ilihi. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Yahdi bihi. What is Yahdi? Fiel. Mudar. Mudario. And where is the file? Mustatir. Yahdi. Fielun mudarion. Marfoon. Bidamatil. Mukaddara. Yes, sister. No. Huda? Damir Fasli has to be a Damir. Huda is a master. What is Huda? Is a master. Hudan. Is a master. From Hada Yahdi. What is the master? Hudan. Huda. Okay. Yahdi bi fail madarion, file mustatir, takadiruhu, huwa yadullu ala Allah. Bihi, char mashur. No, he refers to Quran. Zalika also refers to the Asanul Hadith, which is Quran. Okay. Mai, what is Mai? This is Mafulun Bihi for Yahdi. Are you with me? Okay. And Yashau, Fiel, Mudarya. And where is the file? Mustatir. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? 
Again, Yeshau is a Jumla failure, and what is the value of that Jumla failure? Silatul Mausul, because man is a Ismu Mausul. Fine. And then what is this wall? Harfu Atfin. Now we start here, a Jumla Shartiya. What are we starting? Jumla Shartiya. What is man? Ismu Shart. What is it, brothers and sisters? Ismu Shart. Huh? Jazimun. Tajizimu Fialaini. I do not have room to write everything, so I'm saying a few things. Yudlil huh? La. What is Yudlil? This is a Fialu Shart. Huh? We will say Fialun Mudariun. Majazumun bisukun wa huwa fi'lu shart. What is Allahu? Fa'il. Huh? Okay, this is fa'il. And this is fi'l udariya majazum. Plus it is fi'lu shart. So here is the jawab shart. The fa has come. Are you with me? So what is fa, brothers and sisters? A rabitu. This is a connector. We call it a rabitu. We can say fa al fa'u vaqiyatun fi jawab shart. We know it, so I'm not writing it. Huh? Okay, lahu. No, now has, after fa, ma has come. What is this ma? One sisters? Ma al hijaziya. Huh? I will write down here. Ma al hijaziya. Ma al hijaziya. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Ma al hijazi atu. Okay? Write down this, brother. Ya amalu amala laisa. It does the job of laisa. Anything that laisa has. Mahijazia has it, which is it will have ism and it will have khabar. Ism will be marfu, khabar will be mansu. So, ma, we can say, ma al hijazia, ya malu, amala, laisa. And then, lahu is jar majur, shibu jumla, fi mahalli, bi mahalli. Nasbin, khabar, ma al hijaziya. You will write down, write down like that. And then, brother, just a min is zaida. If you say min, then hadin becomes ism majrur. So we can say min hadin majrurun lafzan. Are you with me? I will write down. Majrurun lafzan. What are they right, brothers and sisters? Majrurun lafzan, marfu'un mahlan. Why did I say marfu? Because it is the ism. Huh? Ism 
ma jazia got the idea sister mamuna inshallah but in sister, this is the way sometimes we can do the analysis and remember you only have to do once to understand it thoroughly after that everything is in your mind if you are asked you will be able to explain but otherwise that's it now when the verse is recited or when we read it we understand directly inshallah we understand directly inshallah the other thing is brothers and sisters that uh, in nurul yakin this is not mentioned ma hijaziya is not, not mentioned it only says ma nafiya hmm? and then lahu is jar majrur shubh jumla khabar muqaddam huh? men of course is zaida and hadin if you take hadin then it is without men then it is marfu and that is mubtada muakhar are you with me so if you do not take ma as a ma al hijaziya and you take ma as a nafiya then lahu is char majru shubh jumla khabar Mukhatta and min zaida and hadin is your muftada muakhar. In any case, if you use min hadin to khayda, then you will always say majrurun lafzan and marfuun mahla. Inshallah. Did you get the idea, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. This is what, <coughs> inshallah. we will try to do with many of the verses of the quran and as i said dr abd rahim is writing another book which will be selected verses of the quran and that will be studied after we study three madina books inshallah he will come in october and then we will launch that book and inshallah he will conduct classes for us all of us those who have completed three madina books will be allowed to sit in his class if you have completed book 1 and 2 only then <clears throat> you do not have enough knowledge to understand but if you have completed three books then you have enough knowledge to understand what dr saheb will explain us inshallah i am very excited about it we are looking forward to the visit of dr abd rahim it will be after eid inshallah okay brothers and sisters this is it okay now we come to where we left where did we leave brothers and sisters it was number 10 exercise number 10 in section 4 correct what is the sentence kana nahwi you what is nahwi you grammarian one who is expert in grammar grammarian huh? so kan an nahwiyu what is nahwiyu here ismu kan what is this isa doing here badal it is badal huh? Huh? it is badal isa ibn umara Asakafi, brother. Asakafi is the name of the tribe from which he comes. It's the name of the tribe. Now this gentleman, brothers and sisters, is very famous in Arabic uh, uh, language as a one of the best grammarian. of arabic language okay he had a problem what was the problem yataka aru now this is your khabar this jumla failure becomes the khabar for kana fi mahli nasbin what is the meaning of taka ara <coughs> to speak from throat huh? to speak Gatarali. 
When you speak from the throat, deep down, the sound is not pleasant. A strange sound comes from you. It's not normal. Maybe one in a million people have this kind of a thing, you know, it's, they cannot speak normally. They speak from the throat, gutturally, and the, the sound is not pleasant. Okay. And it's a little strange. Yataka aru fi kalamihi. He used to speak gutturally. That is the meaning of this, you know. Sakata, to fall down. Sakata yauman, uh, he fell down. An himarihi. An himarihi. Translation with that? He fell down from his donkey. Okay. Vajitama alayhi nasu. What is Vajitama? What kind of a verb is this? For me, eh? gather, together. Vajitama alayhi nasu. Translation, brothers? The people gathered around him. Vakala. So he said, what did he say? Now look at the language that he's using. An average person will not understand this language. Are you with me? <laughs> you know, this is somebody who's expert in English. When he speaks, sometimes half of the words uh, people don't understand because he speaks very high English. The same way uh, he speaks, you know, very high Arabic. Not everybody uses it in everyday life. Okay. And plus, he speaks from his throat which is very unpleasant. So he's saying to the crowd which has gathered around him, Ma lakum taka no. <laughs> You don't hear this word every day. Huh? Ma lakum taka kaatum. Taka kaatum. Huh? Okay. What is the meaning of taka kaatum? Together. Together. Are you with me? Taka ka is together around. No, taka ka tum, tum is your file. What's the problem you have gathered? Uh, alaya on me. Uh, ka, what is ka, brothers and sisters? Arjar. Like. Like. Uh, ka, taka kuikum. But then, what is taka kui? <laughs> this is master from where? Taka ka. Okay. Taka ka. Make it mudaria. Ya taka ka u. Make it master. Taka ku. Taka ku. Are you with me, my sisters? Fine. Ma lakum taka ka tum alayya ka taka kui kum. Alazi jinnati. What is the meaning of this? See, Z, do you understand Z? What is Z? Z? Zuza Z. Zuza Z. So it means we should have a mudafilihi. Okay? So what is mudafilihi? Jinnati. What is the meaning of jinnati? A person who is possessed by jinn means majnoon. A person who is Possessed by jinn. Huh? Okay? Okay. So, what will be the translation? What's the problem? You have gathered around me like a huh? gathering of yours huh? on, a, on a one who is possessed by jinn. <laughs> is it clear, brothers and sisters? What's the problem with you? We have gathered around me. Like a gathering of uh, you around a person possessed by jinn. A frankio. What is the meaning of this? Frankio. Disperse. Go away. Uh, this is a frankio is Amar. Now look at these. These are not used uh, in everyday life. The use of these words are rare. 
Huh? But because Dr. Abdurrahim is trying to explain us, and he has uh, given this example, it's very beautiful, it's a humorous, brothers and sisters. Look at what the people are saying. Huh? If Rankiyu means Afarraku, write it down. Tafarraku. Huh? Tafar Raku. Amar. Huh? Okay. Tafarraku. Disperse. Tafarraku anni. Huh? Stay away from me. Okay. Fakal and Nasu Dauhu Dauhu. What is Dauhu? Very important. Huh? What is the verb? Huh? Very important. We have done it, but it's normal to forget it. Huh? The verb is Vada. What is the verb? Vada. Write down, it's very important. The verb is very important. It is, remember, brothers and sisters, wada is not used in Mahdi at all. Hmm? Most of the time, you will see it is used in Amar and sometimes in Mudharia. But most of the time, the use of this verb is in Amar form. Hmm? If I say, Da'ani. Da'ani. What does it mean? Leave me. Leave me alone. Huh? Da'ani. Okay, so write down, brothers and sisters. I have no room to write, but I'll write here. Vada. Huh? This is Al Mesal Al Bavi. And then Yada U. What will be the Amar? Da. What is the translation of Vada'a? Taraka. Huh? Da'a means Utruk. Utruk. Huh? So, brother, Da'a, then Da'a, Da'u. Da'i. Huh? Okay, how will you write down? Let us write down. Da'u. Felun. Amrin. Mabniunala. Asvinun. And what will be the anti form? Da'i. Huh? Got the idea? So if I say to you, Da'ani means. Leave me alone. Or let me be alone. Huh? Let me be alone. So, so the Nasus, the people, so the people said, when they heard him saying this kind of words, and also from his throat, the sound is not pleasant. What did the people say? Dauhu. Leave him alone. <laughs> write down, Utrukuhu. What will you write down? Utrukuhu. This is the meaning of Utrukuhu. Leave him alone. Fa'inna, because, fa'inna shaitanahu, verily, his shaitan, yatakallamu bil hindiyati. Brother and sister, this is, hin this is Hindi bashing. <laughs> okay. Fa'inna shaitanahu, yatakallamu, Bil Hindiyati. See, the way he spoke, the words were very difficult. Maybe people did not understand because they are not common words. Huh? And then plus he spoke from deep down, from his throat. 
the sound was not pleasant, so people said, leave him alone. <laughs> His shaitan speaks in, in, in an Indian language. <laughs> they did not find he was speaking Arabic. And he was speaking Arabic. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? You made a note of everything? Alhamdulillah. Now, you know, you may come across these words like uh, uh, sometimes. Uh, but otherwise, the use of these, uh, the, these verbs in uh, what is the uh, Bab, brothers and sisters, if an lala. What is it? If an lala. Fialu rubai al mazid. Okay. Dr. Sahib has given us two words here. If ran jama. And then if ran ka. Okay. Anyway. It is for our note. Number five, brothers and sisters, we will move, inshallah, a little fast now. Hada huwal muraqibul jadidu. Huna huwa damirul fasli. We did study yesterday. I gave you some uh, explanation. Now we are reading the text. But damirul fasli, damiru rafain. It is a damir which is marfu. Got the idea? Huh? Yuta bihi. What is the meaning of yuta bihi? It is brought. It is brought. Huh? But what is yuta? Majhul. What is the what is the madi? Ata yati. Huh? From yati it became yuta. Are you with me? Yuta bihi lil fasli. Huh? It is brought to separate something. Lil Lil Fasli Baina Mahua Khabarun Wa Mahua Tabiun. What is the meaning of this, brother? Between the Khabar and Muftada. It separates Muftada and Khabar. Sister Abhi, that Damir Fasli has to be Hua. Huma hum hiya huma hunna. Are you with me? And again, it has no grammatical value. It's just tamir fasli. We cannot call it muftada or khabar or anything. Okay. Sometimes people, you know, start a new sentence with huwa, which is tamir fasli. But I think we should follow what Dr. Abdurrahim is trying to explain us. That it, this is Damirul Fasli, La Mahallahu Min Al Arab. It has no value of any grammatical term like Muftada, Khabar, Fial, Fahil, like that. It has no value, okay, in the Arab of a sentence. Well, La Mahallahu Min Al Arab. Are you with me? Mahalla. La Mahalla. What is it, brothers and sisters? Nafia. It has absolutely, absolutely no place in the air. Huh? Fine, brothers and sisters. Fafi Kaulina Hada Hu al Murakibu Jadidu al Murakibu Khabrun. Wa Ida Hazafna Damir al Fasli. If you remove the Damir Fasli, وَقُلْنَا And we say هَذَا الْمُرَاكِبُ الْجَدِيدُ يَجُزُ أَنْ يَكُونَ الْمُرَاكِبُ بَدَلًا مِنْ هَذَا Are you with me? Then it might be assumed as a badal. كَأَنَّنَا نُرِيدُ أَنْ نَكُولَ هَذَا الْمُرَاكِبُ الْجَدِيدُ Nashitun. What is the meaning of Nashitun? Hard working. So if you say, Hazal Murakibul Jadidu, even though you want to say, this is the new supervisor, but people might assume 
then Hadha is Muqtada, and al muraqab is Badal, and Jadid is Khabar, and they are waiting for the news. They are waiting for the news. Huh? So there is a little ambiguity here. And you want to remove that. You want to make it very clear that this is the Khabar, so you bring a suitable Damir between Muftada and Khabar. Okay, brothers and sisters. And it is called Tamirul Fasli. La mahalla laha min al irab Wa kathalik fi kawlina hamidun wa najihu. An najihu is your khabar. Wa iza hazafna damir al fasli wa kulna hamidun an najihu ya juzwan yakuna an najihu natan li hamid. Are you with me? If you say Hamidun Najihu means the successful Hamid. But we don't want to say that. We want to say Hamid is successful. Hamid is the successful. Then you have to bring the Damirun Fasli. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? It's very easy. It's very easy, brothers and sisters. Inshallah, you will have no problem. Ilaika Amsilatan. Ukhra. Take some more example. Lidamir al-Fasli. Wa ulaika humul muflihuna. What is the translation? Ulaika. Those are, are the successful. Huh? Now remove whom. What will you say? Ulaika al-Muflihuna. There is a possibility. Some people might say those successful ones. Those successful. Now where they are waiting for the khabar. But no, khabar is there, muflihuna. So we bring in the middle fasli, which is whom? Hmm? To, to make it very clear that muflihuna is your khabar. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Here is another verse from the Quran. In Nashaniaka, huwal abtaru. Brother, verily, your enemies, those who hate you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, your enemies, the one who hates you, is the loser, is the one who will be without offspring. He will be the one who will lose all good. But this verse is in response to a lot of insults which were thrown at Prophet ﷺ. Because in Arab culture, a person without having any son is, is something not good. You must have son to carry on your name. And Rasul ﷺ had children, had two sons. And they all passed away in childhood. So people used to mock at Rasul Sallallahu that you will have nobody to carry on your name. Okay? So Allah is saying that those who hate you, the person who hates you, he will be without offspring. There will be nobody to carry his name. Okay? And look at it, brothers and sisters. We read in the Quran, Warafana Laka Zikra. There was no son to Prophet to carry his name, but 1.25 billion Muslim remember him every day for hundreds of time. Huh? Look at it, brother. Huh? And this is in the Quran. Warafana Laka Zikra. And we raised your Zikr, uh, your remembrance. Uh. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Hadihi hmm. hiya sayaratu. If you say hadihi sayaratu, then it becomes this car. But when you say hadihi hiya sayaratu, this is the car. 
Got the idea, brothers and sisters? This is very easy. Istakhrij ma warada fi darsi min damair fasli. Okay, when we are studying the dars, I did ask you to underline it, circle it, so you have it there. When you revise it, you will be making note of the mir fasli. Adhil al ala khabri fi kulli jumlatin min mayati waati bi damir fasli munasib. Waati bi means bring. Waati bi means bring, brothers and sisters. This is amar from atayati. Atayati means to come. But if you say ata bi, it means to bring. Okay. Hada baitun. Hada huwal baitu. Got the idea? Hada huwal baitu. Haulai najihuna. Haulai humul najihuna. Okay. Hadihi majalatun. Hadihi hiyal majalatu. Ulaika. Rasibatun. Ulaika hunul rasibatun. Brother, what was this? Alwapuri. <laughs> it was so easy for you. Huh? Okay. Next one. Minna man yuridu. This minna, min, brother, has a special name. What is the name of this min? Min tabaidiyati. Huh? It comes from ba'ada. What is the verb? Ba'ada. What is the meaning of it, brothers and sisters? <coughs> to divide. Ba'ada means to divide, to split, to break up, to partition. Okay. In other words, Dr. Sab explains the meaning. For ma'ana minna, what is the meaning of minna? Ba'aduna, some of us. When you hear this in the beginning of the sentence, then it means some of us. Ilaika amsilatan ukha. Take some more example. Kul min haza. What is the meaning of this? Eat. Some, not everything. If you are told kul haza, mean eat everything. If you are told kul min haza, take some. Don't eat all. Minat tullabi man yariful inglesiata, min hum man yariful franciata. Of the students are some. Of the students are some who know uh, English language, and from them there are some who know French language. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Kala taala, wa min al nasi. من يقول آمنا بالله وباليوم الآخر وما هم بمؤمنين ومن الناس means of the mankind of the people there are some there are some from the mankind of the mankind are some they say we believe in Allah and we believe in the last day but they are not the believers. Now how do you analyze this? Brothers and sisters, it is not necessary to analyze it, but we will do it. Huh? And you can write down quickly, brothers and sisters. Vamina nasi, underline it. And say, Khabarun Mukaddam. Are you with me? So what is Minan Nasi? Jarun wa Majrurun Shubhu Jumla Khabar Mukaddam Now you know how to say extra. If I say Khabar Mukaddam, you know how to say, you know, Jarun Majrurun Shubhu Jumla, inshallah. Man, brothers and sisters, Man is your Mubtada. Man is your Mubtada. And this is Ismu Mausula. So you what is Yakulu Amanna Billahi Bil Yamil Akhiri? Brother? Yakulu is actually the Silatul Masul. But then 
yakulu has mafulun bihi in the form of a sentence. And what is that? Amanna. Billahi wa bil yawmil akhiri. Brother, amanna. What kind of verb is this? Form 4. Where is the file? Na. Are you with me? Na. That is your file. Amanna. And then, na. Na is your file. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Amanna. You know, that is amana, amanna. Okay? And then, brothers and sisters, billahi is your jar majurun. And truly speaking, billahi is your mafulun bihi. Billahi is your mafulun bihi. What can I have a mafulun bihi? Biva sitati harfichar. By means of harfichar. We have studied. When you will revise, you will, inshallah, uh, refresh yourself. Okay? Mafulun bihi ghairu sarihin. It is not uh, direct. It is indirect object. Fine. Wabil yawmil akhiri. Got the idea, one sisters? Now, this sentence, amanna billahi wabil yawmil akhiri, is makulu. You know? Kala and then makulu, something said. Are you with me? So this whole sentence is mafulun bihi far yakulun. Okay, fine, brothers and sisters. Now comes wa. What is this wa? Here, this is bau halia. What is it? What is it, brothers and sisters? Bau halia. Bau halia. Okay, and again, ma has come. Hum. Now remember, brothers and sisters, if you say, see ma like yes, like this, you say ma al hijaziya. Because if a nominal sentence comes, if a jumla ismiya comes, and ma is there, it can be, you know, uh, said that ma is al hijaziya. And it can also be said ma nafiya. But I think ma al hijaziya. Now we have studied, we can say with confidence, and also we can analyze it properly. What is ma al hijaziya? Ya amalu amal al laisa. So brothers and sisters, ma al hijaziya, ya amalu amal al laisa. Where is ismu ma? Hum. Okay. And where is khabar ma? Be more meaning, huh? Like Laisa. Jarun wa majrun, shibu jumla, fi mahalli nasbin. Khabar, maal hijaziya. Got the idea? Alhamdulillah. Very good, brother and sister. Now, this is a, a detailed analysis, not really required here, but I thought we are going to get stronger if we try to attempt this. And this is the way we will, inshallah, uh, be studying Quran. Wa kauluhu ta'ala, brothers and sisters. Wa mimma razaknahum yunfikun. They spend part of what we have given them. Part of it. Huh? They don't spend everything. Part of it, you know. Very good, brothers and sisters. Number. Five, uh, five, brothers and sisters. What is number five? Anta min ahsanit tulabi. If I say anta ahsanu tulabi, you are the best student, superlative degree. If I say anta min, no, not comparative, it means you are one of the best. Huh? You are part of the best. Did you get it? So what this min is? Tab'idiyati. Min atab'idiyati. Are you with me? It's tongue twister. Min at tab'idiyati. OK? 
Okay? Fine, brothers and sisters. Antamin Ahsani Tulabi, you are one of the best students. Number seven, another Halwapuri, brothers and sisters, we know it. Afaishta fi Faransa, Hamzatul Istifam, Tatakaddamu ala Hurufil Atf. It always precedes the conjunction. Why? Because it acts like a Queen Victoria. It doesn't want anybody to come in front, okay? Examples? Nah, awalam yan dhuru. Awalam yan dhuru. Okay, so A came first and Ataf came afterwards. Afalam yasiru. Athumma idha ma waka amantum bihi. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? What is the translation of the first sentence? Avalam yan dhuru. Did they not see? Did they not see? Afalam yasiru. Did they not walk? Asumma iza waka'a amuntum bihi. Would you all believe in it when it actually comes to pass? Are you with me? When it actually happens, you will believe. وَأَخْوَاتُهَا تَتَأَخَّرُ and Hurufil Atf. The rest of the sisters of Hamzatul Istifam will come late. They will come after Harfu Atf. Only Hamzatul Istifam will come in the beginning. For example, Fahal Yuhlaku illa kaumu fasikun. But shall any be destroyed except those who transgress? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? But shall any be destroyed except those who transgress? Huh? Fa came and then hal came afterwards. Now change hal into hamdatul istifam. What will you say? Afa. You will say afa. Okay, brothers and sisters, we will move forward. But I want to mention here something to you. The first uh, ayah, Avalam Yan Dhuru, there's an error in the number which is mentioned for the ayah. It is from Suratul Ayra. Ayah number is 185. Please make correction. Huh? Ayah number is 185. Now we come to the exercise. Adhil vowel atfi alahataini jumlataini. Enter vowel atfi on the following two sentences. Ajaa mudarisuna jududun. Put vow now, brother. Where will the vow come? Avaja. Fine, brother. Hal haza jaizun. That's it, brother. Okay, next one. Where the Kala Ibrahimu Huna is Mafulun Bihi Li Fialin Mazufin Takdirhu Uzkuru. We studied this also. Anytime you see is, there's a Fial Mahdu means Uzkuru. Remember when. Remember and then you'll start with the next word when. Huh? Fine, brother. Number nine. What is number nine? Mauta. Jamu Ayit. Wahuala Vazini Faila. Gairu Munawanin. What is Munawanin? It's a maful. Yeah? <coughs> Means it does not have Tanween. 
لِأَنَّهُ Because it is مَمْنُوعٌ مِنَ السَّرْفِ هَاتِي جَمَا اسْمَا لَعَتِيَتِ أَلَا وَزْنِ فَعَلَا مَرِيدٌ مَرْدَا كَتِيلٌ What does it mean of كَتِيلٌ The person who has been murdered كَتْلَا Jarihun, wounded, jarha. Asirun, captive. Asra. Sariun, sara. What is the meaning of sari? Sariun, brother? It means senseless. Senseless. Brother, this is for people who have. Epilepsy, that is Sari On. Huh? Next word, brothers and sisters? Ahmak. Hamka. Okay? Stupid. Huh? Fine, brothers and sisters. Now we come to the next important thing, which is kind of a very important, brothers and sisters. I want to go to the key. But before I go, I want to rub off the board, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, please open page number 119 in your key. Section number 6. If the monada is a noun with the pronoun of the first person singular as its mudafilehi, it has five different forms. It has five different forms. Okay. Number one. Ya Rabbi. Okay. This is the original form, brother. Huh? Okay. Ya Arfunida. Rabba is Munada. Wahua Mudaf. And then Ya Mutakal Mudaf Ilehi. Now, Ya. Rabbi, here the ya has been omitted. And this is what I sometimes tell you jokingly. Ya aiti, apne nishani chodke, chali gay. What I said, Sister Mahamuna, ya had come, left her sign, and went away. So, this is ya Rabbi. And now, brothers and sisters, we have. Ya Rabbi Ya. What happened here? The Ya is retained, but has Fata now. Still it is Mudaf Mudafilihi. Okay? This is also permissible. Then we have Ya Rabba. Ya is omitted, and the last letter has Fata. Okay? The last one, brother. Ya Rabba. The Ya is omitted. And the last letter is Fata and Alif. But actually, we can say the Ya turned into Alif. Ya turned into Alif. Are you looking in the book, brothers and sisters? The last form takes Hau Sakti. What is that, brother? Hau Sakti. At the end, Ya Rabba. Huh? Okay. Now, Dr. Saab is talking to us. I have put all the five forms in this mnemonic. What is the meaning of mnemonic, brothers and sisters? Something that will assist us in memorization. That will assist us in memorizing it. This has been done. It is designed to help us in memorizing. Okay. What is it, brothers and sisters? Rabbi, which is the most common in the Quran. Followed by Rabbi with Ya, and then Rabba, and then Rabba, and the finally Rabbi Ya. The final is Rabbi Ya. Okay. The first form, Rabba, is the most frequently used in the 
Quran. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? Fine. Let us read the text, inshallah. Rabbi Arini, Huna Rabbi Asluhu, Ya Rabbi. Hudifa Minhu Harfunida. Is it clear? You can follow without my translating it, inshallah. Hudifa Minhu Harfunida, or Ya Mutakalim. Harfunida has been omitted, and Ya Mutakalim is omitted. Hada Misalun Li Monada Al Mudaf. This is an example of Munada, brothers and sisters. But it is, what is the speciality here? That Mudaf Ilehi is Ya Mutakalla. We are only taking the examples. We are trying to understand when the noun is Mudaf and Mudaf Ilehi is Ya Mutakalla. That's it. Only in this form we are studying. Okay. Yajuzu fi ya'ihi khamsatu avjuhin. Brother, what is this avjuhin? Huh? What is singular? Vajhun. This is your singular. What is plural, brother? Av, Ju, or, brother, Vujuhun. Two plurals. Huh? Got the idea, brother and sister? MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Number one. Hazrafuha ma bakail kasrati. Means it is removed, it is omitted, but the kasra is left. But the kasra is left. Nah, ya Rabbi. huwa aksaru. This is the most frequent. Number two, ithbatul ya isakinatan. Means. The evidence of Ya is there and it has got Sukun in it. Huh? Ya Rabbi. Huh? Okay. Showing of Ya with a Sukun. Hada Dunal Avali Vikasrati. This is this comes after the first one in its use. Huh? Means it is used less than the first one. Huh? Is Batul Yai Maftu Hatan? Means, brothers and sisters, instead of Kasra, the Yagata, Fata. Kalbul Yai Alifan. What is the meaning of this? The overturning of Ya into Alif. Nahwi, Ya Rabba. Wakad. Talhakuha hao sakti in the wakfi. And when you stop it, then you have to add to it the silent ha. Example, ya rabba. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Number five. Kalbul yai alifan. First, the ya is changed into alif. And then you drop the alif also, wa hasfuha. Was tignau anha bil fatahati. Nahu, ya rabba. Brother, what is the meaning of istagna? Huh? To be satisfied. Huh? Form 10. Write down, brother. It will always come with an or b to be 
satisfied to do without to dispense with means after you drop the alif huh? The fata is left, and that fata is enough. Uh, that is, we can do with fata only. Okay. Ya Rabba. So, what happened in Ya Rabba? First, first, brother and sister, it was Ya Rabbi, with a kasra an ba. Okay. And then you ch- change the ya into alif. As soon as you change the ya with alif, then it became rabba. Huh? From rabbi, it became rabba. And then you removed the alif. Because you are satisfied with rabba. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So we can do without alif. We can do without alif. And, and fata is enough. Okay? Got the idea, brothers and sisters? That is what it means, you know. I hope you followed it. Vastiginau, what is Vastiginau? Vastiginau, it is a master. Huh? Master of Istagna, Yastagni. Master of Istagna. Huh? And remember, after that, either you should use an harfjar or B Hafchar. I urge you to always write these uh, prepositions which are necessary with verb. That way, inshallah, you'll be able to memorize them. Huh? Without making an effort, it will become part of your memory, inshallah. Yajmau hadihil aw juhu kauluna. Rabbi, Rabbi, Rabba, Rabba, Rabbiya. Okay, fine. Then we have next one, brothers and sisters. Idahum Yastab Shiruna. Idakana Jawabu Sharti Jumlatan is miyatan. We know that if the Jawabu Shart is Jumla Ismiya, Wajaba Iktaranuhu. It is necessary, the connecting of it will fly. This we know it. Kama huh? alimta, as you know it. Vayajuzu ikamatu ila fujayatu. And it is permissible huh? to, you know, replace it by ila fujaya and put the ila fujaya in its place. Huh? Ikamatu means staying. Staying of Izal Fujaya, Makam al Fai, the place of Fa. Huh? It is permissible, the staying of Izal Fujaya in the place of Fa. That's it. We also had uh, understood the verse. Huh? Number 12. Now this is most important. We go back to the key. We go back to the key. Number 8, brothers and sisters. We have learned the mudaf verb in book 2, lesson 29. In all forms of the mudaria except 2, the second radical loses its vowel and is assimilated to the third radical. Brothers and sisters. I want you to underline this. The second radical loses its vowel and is assimilated to the third radical. There are 14 forms in Mudarya. Out of 14, in 12, this happens. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Let us do the first form to understand. Huh? Okay?
Hajja. What is Hajja, brother and sisters? Hajja. Ja. So even in Mahdi, uh, where is the second radical? Where is Ain Kalima? Chi. Is there a vowel sign now? Yes. Now I am putting. Let me write down. Now what happened now? The second radical lost its vowel sign. After losing its vowel sign, it got assimilated into got the idea? So, so this is what the Dr. Abdurrahim is talking about. That in the mudaf verb, the second <coughs> radical, remember the second radical, Ain Kalima, loses its vowel sign and after losing it, it gets assimilated. That's all. That's true in Mudarya. But then, if you say Hajaja, what will be your Mudarya? Yaha, Ju, Ju. Where is your second radical? Jim, with a Dhamma. Okay, now we change this, brother. What do we do now? What happened here? The second radical lost its vowel sign. If there is no vowel sign, there is a sukun. Huh? And what happened? It got assimilated. So it became Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So, this is the meaning of the sentence. What is the sentence? The second radical loses its vowel and is assimilated to the third radical. Did it get assimilated to the third radical? Yes. Huh? Okay, fine. It happens, brothers and sisters, in the mudaf verb. Okay? Whenever you attach a pronoun which, which is as a file. If that pronoun is a certain pronoun, what is it, brother and sister? If the pronoun is a certain pronoun coming as a file, then the second radical loses its vowel and is, it is assimilated with the third radical. When does it happen? When the file is sakin pronoun. Are you with me? When it is mutaharrik pronoun, uh, then you open it up. Uh. So when you assimilate, it's called idgham. When you separate it, it's called fakwa idgham. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now just to give you little practice, brothers and sisters, Hajja, let's conjugate. Hajja, Hajja, Hajju, Hajjat, Hajjata. See, in all of these, the file was Sakin. So there was a Idgham. Now you come to Hunda, and there is a Fakwa Idgham. Hajjajna, and then Hajjashta. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Now let's go to Mudarya. Hmm? In Mudarya, brothers and sisters, out of the 14 forms, 12 are Sakin, with Sakin files. Only two have Mutaharrik, Hunna and Antunna. That's it. So when it is Mutaharrik, pronoun in Mudarya, which is Hunna and Antunna, there is a fat fakwa idgham. Huh? So, yahujju, yahujjani, yahujjuna, tahujju, tahujjani, yahujjuna. Now the mutaharik pronoun. Okay. Now this is the secret huh? of when to uh, have idgham 
and when not to have a dalal. Okay. Let's read it now, brothers and sisters. Okay. Yahuju, Yahujani, Yahujuna, Tahuju, Tahujani, Yahujina, Tahuju, Tahujani, Tahujuna, Tahujina, Tahujani, Tahujina, Ahuju, Nahuju. Okay? This process is called Idram, assimilation. Only the two underlying forms do not undergo idgham because they are isnaded to motaharic pronoun. Now we have a clear cut idea, brother. I guess we work a little extra in understanding the whole concept. Huh? Now comes the important part. When you are in mudarya and you want to make majizum, okay? What happens? There are two possibilities. Okay. Now this again, simple way of explanation. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. I say five in your pocket, brother. Because truly speaking, there are five. But Dr. Saab does not use it that way. And he's more accurate. Because when you say five, the five applies here. We say noon aata hai, noon jata hai. What is the expression of it in grammar? La fualul khamsa. Uh, that is why, uh, you know, if the doctor sahib is using five as a follow khamsa, then this five may become confusing. So doctor sahib says four. But again, in this four, as in this five, which are seven, and whatever is common is considered as part of it. And since out of five, there are two which are common. So it makes it four. Are you with me? Let's do it. Huh? So if I say, Yahuju, Tahuju, Tahuju, Ahuju, Nahuju. So there are five. But because Tahuju came twice, so it becomes four. But since from the very beginning, I have been telling you five in your pocket. So let us stick to five in your pocket. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? When you make Majizum, you have two choices. Especially in five in your pocket. And the first form of Amar. What is the first form of Amar? Second person singular. Anta. Are you with me? In these verbs, you have a choice. When you make them majizum, either you break the idgham or you Keep the idgham. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Okay. Start from here, brothers and sisters. Yahud, Yahud, Jew. What is it, brothers and sisters? Yahud, Jew. Now you make it much zoom. What will you do? You will I will write down in detail, brother. Yeah, hood. You made it much zoom. Huh? But we cannot read it. And we cannot drop it. Because it's not a weak letter. So we give fatah here. 
Now, this turns into a hujja. How will you describe? Feelun, mudariun, majzumun, wa alamatu jazmihi, as-sukun, mukadbara. We have learned it. We are good at it, inshallah. Now, if I were to open it up, break the idgham, then, brothers and sisters, it will be something like this. Hmm? What is this? Yeah, juju. Now make a make it in majizum, brother. You will say. You will say, Yah Chuj. Got the idea? So, you have a choice. That five in your pocket, which is Yahuju, Tahuju, Tahuju, Ahuju, Nahuju. Either you have this form, Yahuja, Tahuja, Tahuja, Ahuja, Nahuja, or you have this form, Yahajuj, Tahajuj, Tahajuj, Ahajuj, Nahajuj. Both are permissible. Now we come to the Amar form. Are you with me, brother and sister? What is the Amar? This only applies here, brother. Okay. What is the Amar, brother? If you make Amar from Yahud Jew. How do you make Amar? We chop. Yeah. And then it remains now. So you even give a, you cross this, put a sukun. Can we pronounce? No. Then we have to give Fatah here. So it became How will you describe it? Fialu Amarin Mabniyun Ala Sukunil Mukaddara. Because you know there is a Sukun there. Sukunil Mukaddara. Estimated Sukun is there. Your eyes cannot see, but your mind can see. Okay? Now try to make Amar from here. Yahujju. Huh? I will write down here, brother. Yeah, yeah, ju, ju. How do you make amar? You chop this and you give it a sukun here. What else do you do? If the ain kalima has a dhamma, you bring hamzatul wasal. And what vowel sign do you give? Dhamma. Huh? Dhamma. Remember hamzatul wasal. So what is the Amar now? Oh Judge. What is it? Oh Judge. Is it clear? <laughs> Sister Maimuna, inshallah. Sister Nasreen, Sister Sumaya, inshallah. All of you sisters. Okay. So it became Oh Judge. So you have a choice. If you say Oh Judge, it will be described. Fairu Amarin, Mabniun Allah, Sukum. If you say this, then it is Mabdin Allah, Sukunil Mukhattara. You have a choice. And this comes in the Quran. And if we have no knowledge of this, how will you understand Quran? Let's read it, brothers and sisters. I read exactly what Dr. Sahib has written. Page 120. Now in the Mudariya Majzum, these four forms, uh, Yahujju, Tahujju, Ahujju, Nahujju, there's one missing. What is missing here? Tahujju has to come again, but we understand it. Eh? Have two possibilities, one with Idram 
and the other without it. Lam yahujja or lam yahjuj. Is it clear, brothers and sisters? It should be 100% clear. Not even 99%. It should be 100, probably 105% clear. Okay, inshallah. Remember that yahujju is originally yah juju. Fine. In the same way, lam tahujja or lam tahjuj. Lam ahujja or lam ahjuj. Lam nahujja or lam nahjuj. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Page number 120 in the key of book 3. Fine. Fine. The amar of the second person masculine singular also has this possibility. Hujja, perform hajj or ohjuj. I just explained to you on the board, brother and sister. The amar of the second person feminine plural is already without idham. Huh? Are you with me, brother and sister? So if you say, look at it very clearly, say hujja. Huh? Which is anta. What will be the antuma? Hujja. Antum. Hujju. Anti. Hujji. Antuma. Hujja. Then antunna. Uhjuchina. Huh? Because we have to bring the nunu niswa as the file, mutaharik pronoun. Now the idgham has to be broken. Got the idea? Once you break the idgham, then it became uhjujna. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. You will remember this. Huh? The amar of the second person feminine plural is already without idgham, uhjujna. It cannot have idgham because it is isnaded to a mutaharik pronoun. We, we are pretty expert at uh, Sakin pronouns and Mutaharik pronouns. Can I say with confidence, brothers and sisters, for all of you, that we are strong in understanding Mutaharik pronouns and Sakin pronouns? Alhamdulillah. You have worked very hard uh, to understand this concept, brothers and sisters. The process of removing the idgham is called Fakko idgham. Huh? Here are some examples from the Quran of this. Brother. This is very beautiful, brother. Most beautiful. You should understand it very well, inshallah. And also, that is why it is so important that we understand the whole concept. Huh? And then you can enjoy reading the Quran and understanding it directly, inshallah. Kalat. Kalat. Who is this Kalat? Maryam. Huh? Bibi Maryam. Okay, Kalat. Huh? She said, Anna yakunu li gulaman. How can I have a son? Walam yamsasni basharun. Basharun is the file. What is the fiel? Yamsas. So what is this fiel? Massa. What is it? Massa. Yamassu. What is massa, brother and sister? You want to write it down? Write it down. Masisa. Huh? We have already done it, Masisa, huh? and it is Bab Samia. Masisa became Yamassu. Are you with me? No, it is Yamassu. Open it up, brother. Yam Sasu. What will be Yam Sasu? Now make it Majizum. Yam Sas. Got the idea? So, when you make it majizum, here you had a choice. Either you should have said, lam yamassa or lam yamsas. Got the idea? So, that is what it is, brothers and sisters. When no man has touched me. Okay, fine, brother. This is from Surah Maryam. Waman yahlil alayhi ghadabi faqad hawa. No, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, and he on whom my wrath descends 
is indeed lost. Brothers and sisters, you must understand something. What kind of sentence is this? Jumla shartiya. Mashallah. Man is your ismu shart. Jazimun. Tajizimun. Khalaini. So, where is the fialu shart? Yahlil. See, yahlil. Brothers and sisters. So, what kind of a verb is this? Halla yahillu. What, the, what is the verb, brothers and sisters? Halla ya hillu. Now, break it, brothers and sisters. I'm breaking it. Ya. What is it? Ya lilu. Now make it majizum. Ya lilu. Got the idea? This is how it, it is in the Shah. Huh? So that is your Yahlilu became Yahlil. Alayhi Ghadabi. Okay. What is Ghadabi, brothers and sisters? It is fine. Ghadabu. Huh? And then Mudah Mudah Alayhi. Fine, brothers and sisters. Fa has come. Why? Ghada has come. Huh? Huh? Alhamdulillah. Al Fa'u Waqiyatun Fi Jawabishat. Kad. What is Hava? Fialun Madin. Mabnun ala Fatahat al Mukaddara. Okay? Hava. Then we will say, No, 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 not yet. Not yet, sister. We will say, Hava is Fial Madi. Mabnun ala Fatahat al Mukaddara. Now you will say, Al Jumlatul fi aliyatu. Which is Kad Hava. Al Jumlatul fi aliyatu fi mahalli chazmin jabu shad. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay. The next one, brothers and sisters, we did yesterday. Maman Yudalil. Allahu. Fama lahu min hadil. Okay. I think we did it in the morning also, a little bit. Didn't we do it? Yes, we did it. Huh? Okay, but the yudalil, what is the verb? Adalla. Yudillu. Are you with me? So, if it is yudillu, what is, break it down. Yudlilu. Huh? If you break it down, yudlilu. Huh? Shall I write down on the board? You know it, inshallah. Huh? Okay. Another example I always give, brothers and sisters, Ahabba Yohibbu. Yohibbu. Break it, Yohibbu. Yohbibu. Yohbibu. Keep that in mind because that is most common. Ahabba Yohibbu is very common verb, brothers and sisters. Fine. Now we come to the third example. Kul. This is so beautiful, brother. I'd love to analyze this. Kul in kuntum tohibun Allah. Okay, brother. In has come. Not is mushar. Harf mushar. Harf mushar jazimu. Tajizimu fi alayni. What is kuntum? Fi al maadi. Nakis. Okay. Tum is. Ismukan. Okay. So what is this verb doing here? Fialun Madin. Fi Mahali Jasmin. Fialushat. Fi Mahali Jasmin. If you do not get a fial which is in its natural form majizum, then we have to assume that it is Fi Mahali Jasmin. So this is Fi Mahali Jasmin. Okay. What is Tuhibun Allah? Khabar kana, mashallah. This is khabar kana. Tum is ismu kana. Where is khabar kana? What will you say? Al jumlatul fi'aliyatu fi mahalli nasbin khabar kana. Alhamdulillah. Allah is your mafulun bihi. And where is the file of tuhibbuna? Wow. Fi'alun mudariun. 
marfun wa alamatu rafi subutinun ha fine brothers and sisters fattabiuni what is this fa has come ha what is fa fa kya to fi jawab hai ha okay brother why has fa come why it is tala no why what kind of verb is this amar mashala this is amar what is this ittabiu ha huh? ittabiu so hamzatul uh, wasal is not pronounced it's written there fattabiuni so it is fa'lu amrin mabniyun ala hadhfi nun and wow is your file and then nunu wikaya and then ya mutakallim mafulun bihi how will you translate say o prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam say o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam if you love allah then follow me ha huh? follow me Now it is very important to understand the next one. What is it, brother and sister? You have bib kum. You have bib kumulahu, brother. What is this verb? You have bib. It is jawabu talab. If you say jawabu talab, it is correct. It is majizum. Why it is majizum? because it is jawab talab uh, where is the talab where is it? tell me no fatabiuni <laughs> there is your talab are you with me brothers and sisters where is the talab fil amar where is the fil amar fatabiuni uh, okay now let us do the other way ha huh? i want you to do the other way ha huh? okay what is the other way sister mamuna you will insert a, a new shart there yeah. but let us let us finish this ha huh? huh? yuhibbukumullah brother what is yuhibb here uh, tell me yuhibb it is actually yuhibbu ha huh? when you make yuhibbu majzum ha huh? we are breaking it down and it became first instead of yuhibbu we say yuhibbu and then from yuhibbu we said yuhibb are with me so it is majzum ha huh? okay yu yuhibb kumullahu and then wa yaghfir now yaghfir is mawtufun ala yuhibb ha huh? zunu bakum fine brothers and sisters beautiful now let us come put the new shirt in it what will be your new shirt in tatabiuni ha huh? what will be you will write down the new shirt brothers and sisters in describe this brother in are you with me in harf shart jazimun tajzimu fi alaini so what is tatabiuni this is fi'l shart ha what is tatabiuni fi'lun mudhari'un majzumun bi hadfinun bi hadfinun and then waw is the fi'l and then nunu wikaya and ya mutakallim mafulun bi translation if you follow me what will happen that allah will love you and he will forgive your sins got the idea now if you put the shart then your habib becomes your jawab shart but if you don't put this then your habib is 
Majzum because of being a jawabu talab. And where is the talab? Fattabiyuni. Fattabiyuni because it is ittabiyu. Ittabiyu, is it there, Sister Nasri? Yes, ittabiyu is amar. So if that is amar, then yuhbib becomes jawabu talab. But did you like this method also, brother? Because I think it really emphasizes huh? what emphasizes. Look at it if you translate. Huh? Look at it, brother. Say, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, in kuntum, if you love Allah, follow me. If you follow me. Allah will love you and forgive your sins. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. Anyway, the whole idea is we got a little extra chance to analyze and we understood the mudaf verb when they become majzum. You have a choices. What are the choices, brothers and sisters? Either it has to be five in your pocket or it has to be the first form of Amar, which is second person, singular, masculine. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? The next one. Wahlul uqtadam min lisani. We always say in the morning prayers, brothers and sisters. So what is this wahlul? What is the verb? Halla ya hullu. What is it? Halla. Now I write down. For the last time, brothers and sisters, Halla Ya Yahullu. Fine, brothers and sisters. Make Amar Hulla. Now break it, brother. Ya Lulu. Now make Amar, brother. How will you make Amar? Put wow here, Sister Sumaya. How will you pronounce? Wahlul. Wahlul. Huh? Got the idea? See? Brothers and sisters, there is a special sweetness in the words of the Quran. One has to feel that sweetness and the magic. And it cannot be felt that sweetness cannot touch your heart. The magic cannot touch your heart unless you learn the language of the Quran. Brothers and sisters, we are not learning grammar. We are learning the language of the Quran with the help of the grammar. Huh? So all you are learning is the language now. Of course, we are weak in speaking because we do not practice it in our class and we do not have the environment around us. But I assure you, those of you who are young, and inshallah you will all go to Middle East someday. And this knowledge will help you. You will be able to speak and when you will speak, Inshallah, you speak very correctly. The way our Prophet used to speak and the way all the Ashabas spoke. Huh? The pure Arabic language. Not polluted. Huh? Not polluted. Unfortunately, in the Middle East, everywhere, the Arabic language has been polluted. But still, when you hear Juma Khutbah, it is in pure Arabic. And also, when you hear the news, it is 95% pure. You know, so alhamdulillah. Uh, and inshallah you will understand and you will speak also inshallah. The knowledge is there. It just requires practice. Hmm? Brother, let's move forward. Number 12. Mumay huh? yudlil. Are you with me? Al mudariya majzum. Bisukun wal amaru mabniyun alehi min fail madaf 
Yajuzu fiha al adigamu wa faku. Are you with me, brother and sister? Is this clear? Kiyad the mudariya is majuzum yodalil. Wal amrul mabniyun alayhi min fiyal mudav yajuzu fiha adigamu. And also in the amar, brothers and sisters, it is permissible to have a idgham or fakhu idgham. Look at this, brothers and sisters. Lam ya shudda. Are you with me? Break the idgham. It becomes lam ya shudd. Shudda is your amar. What is the verb? Shadda ya shuddu. To tie something, huh? to tie or to pull, huh? to bind something, to tighten something, okay? Should the break the idgham, it will become ush dud. Clear, brothers and sisters? We already did that, brothers and sisters. Ma nau ma fi kama yatakallamu Ahlu Faransa. What kind of a ma is this? But that this is ma al mastariya. Huh? Remove it. You will say ka Got the idea? Ka taqullumi. Ka taqullumi. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Very good. So this is ma al mastariya. Yes, inshallah. Ma mufrad, brother. Al julud. Al jildu. Al jildu. Al jildu. Al jildu. Inshallah. Next one, brothers and sisters. Uthkur bab kulla filin min mayati. Istan thara. What is the bab? Istafa ala. Next one, brother. Taka ara. Tafa ala. Next one. Istab shara. Istafa ala. Lana. Ajwaf al yai. Lana Yalin. Now, brothers and sisters, let us take a break, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Brother, we are back from our break. We'll start again. After that lesson, there is a page here. What is the number on that page, Sister Hafsa? In which there are tables? 229. Brother, I'm skipping this because you can easily understand. Now, only remember one thing, brother. We have done form 10. Form 1 is the base form. Form 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, the numbers may not agree with what we have done. But you know that. Huh? If you see istafa ala, we call it form 10. Huh? Now, more than that, the use is not very frequent. So do not worry about it. So I am trying to skip this page because inshallah you will read it and you will understand everything. If you do not understand, you will ask me. Inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters. Now we come to the next lesson.